Now the plan here right now it's around let's say 2 2 p.m. I wish I would have left a little sooner but I could always say that all the time. We're starting point Mandalay Bay. <clears throat> we'll go and try to check out all the pools at the MGM Resorts property. We'll try to get that done. La, 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 la. Let me warm up. Let me try this again. We're going to go check out all the MGM Resorts pools. Swimming pools. At least go try it. I don't have access to all of them. I don't know if it's guaranteed, but we'll give it a try. The only one that's guaranteed is the one here at Mandalay Bay. And the other point, I do have to end up at Cosmopolitan around 6 o'clock or 7. That's for sure on my agenda. I need to go there eh, 6 or 7 ideally, 9 o'clock at the latest. And uh, the way these live streams go sometimes for me, you know, it could be 5 hours long, 4 hours long, 12 hours long. I don't know. But let's uh, I'm gonna keep it moving. We'll give you a chance for you guys to join in while I walk down. Keep it classy. And, and by the way, as soon as you hear me talk, please uh, push number one because I'm wondering if my mic is working. So let me know, comment below. If you start coming in, if you hear this, push number one. Thank you very much. I know has Hey, hey, hey. Oh, messy room. Kind of messy. Not too bad. And let me make sure I got everything. I got this. I got this. I got this. Eh, let me put some of this in the back pocket. Oh man, I feel like I have something. Uh, uh, oh, I should throw this trash away. Okay, that's the one I was looking at. I knew I forgot something. Okay, everything else could just pretty much stay. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hear this later you hear me now right now comment below if you hear me i know i don't think anyone's in here yet but the moment you hear this right now please push number one hey, hey, hey. thank you very much we're here at the mandalay bay smells like mandalay bay smells like a mandalay also smells like a bay hey 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 it's number one Let's go, let me take care of something real quick. Give a little chance for some folks to walk in here into the, into the live feed. Guys, usually there are three to two blackjacks here. That's $25 or 50 bucks or 25. Three to, three to two tables that's not in the high limit are usually here, right here. Just keep in mind, it's right by this kind of a stadium video machines here, okay? So it's, it's on this area for the three to two blackjacks. That's not in the high limit. Right now I say it's $25 minimum, which is a good fair price. I stand corrected. It had a green screen, which signifies $25, but right now it's $50 right now. But usually I see those as $25 right there but you know there's a convention here there's uh some stuff going on here so they might have raised it to 50 bucks which they do once in a while but hey do not ever be afraid especially if you're sitting there alone let's say you see an empty table with 50 dollar minimum right or whatever they eh, you know you don't want to go too far down but let's say you see a minimum 
in that instance right there when I was walking, I saw an empty table, no one there, and the other table had oh, two players. Don't be afraid. Just like, hey, could I play this for $25? Make an offer. You know, they'll go substantially lower than the minimum, but 90% of the time they'll say yes if you ask nicely or, you know, if, you, if they feel like it. Do not ever be afraid. So right there, I would have asked like, oh, can I play it for $25? Then you bet over whatever you want and they'll rate you accordingly. You don't have to necessarily bet $25, but that option is good to have, even if you're betting $200 or $300 in hand. Because sometimes you want to low play a little bit, just have that option. All right, cool. I'm warming up my vocals here. And uh, I guess no one hears it. If you hear me right now, please push number one. If not, I'll just assume the microphone's not working for now. But if you hear me, push number one. I got to do some housekeeping real quick. Got to put you in the, in the pocket for a second. Oh, appreciate it. I'm back. All right, y'all. Let's let's go check out the. Uh... This is Lisa Johnson. What up, Lisa Johnson? Hello there. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the one. Some the microphone's working, so we're good. Let me. I'm warming up here. 
I woke up around 11, but I was just kind of doing some housekeeping. I haven't used my vocals yet, but again, if you heard me on this one, on these uh, three to two tables on the left right here, and I highly suggest, always look for a table, blackjack, three to two, not six to five payouts. Huge difference. It looks minimal like numbers, but it's a huge difference. And again, if you see an empty table and they're charging minimum of like, let's say $50, do not be afraid to be like, hey, you know, could you do it for $25? Don't be afraid. All right, I'm gonna go check out one other thing. Start off with Mandalay Bay Pool, and then we'll continue northward. Next would be Luxor, Excalibur. Uh, let's go to uh, MGM Grand. See if some viewer was asking if it's open yet. But it is pool and all the pools should be open today. The other day it wasn't because it was raining. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate the thumbs up. What up, Michael Mech? How you doing? How you doing, Michael Mech? Thank you for joining this afternoon. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna do a few few things before uh, I head to a pool downstairs and we'll get it started. But uh, I have a question I wanna ask him now. I'll be right back. you on another amazing live stream. Oh, it's a good start. It's a good start. Uh, I got a question here. Oh, you know what? I might have a tea bag for later, right? Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, yeah, the cruise light, eh? No, 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 I'm just zoomed oh, yeah. Hi, right. just a question. Is there anything like, that happens with this over at the pool? Anything extra? Yeah. Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Right. Nothing, yeah. Nothing. Right. Oh, gotcha. If there's a lounge, not the pool, but the lounge over there as well. Okay. Right. Okay. But in, in, but in terms of the pool, just nothing extra over there down there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get a pastry. Should we get a pastry? Okay. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Ooh. I want to learn this here. Hang on, guys. I'm picking up a few things. If you hear me right now, push number two. If you hear me right now, push number two. If you hear me right now, push number two. Hang on, I'm almost done here. I'm going to pick up the pace no, let me pick up two pictures. Mm 
to come and get the, uh, get the stomach, the stomach starting it a little bit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know, if you hear me right now, number two, please. <laughs> Not number one, number two. All right, let's chill out here for a second. Let me get this real quick. See where's people at. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. What's up, one take? I'm curious how many charges you have. You have to be doing eight hours live stream <laughs> or five hours. Were you able to hear me there? Oh, like anyone to listen. Oh, there's a lag probably, huh? I use this thing here. I paid 50 bucks for this and I carry two, around, two of these. And I've never had to use the second one. One is good enough and I've done live streams for like two hours, no, no, 12 hours. The one is always good enough, but I carry two just in case. But today I might drop one off because this is, I realize it's heavy. Anchor. Um, 50 bucks. I might have paid too much for it, huh? Bought it at Best Buy. My first uh, charger bank purchase ever. Uh, yeah. Got some danishes or whatever you want to call these just to kind of get me started. And one of these. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Instead of the coffee, I'll down it with the the, the beer. Lemon, one whatever this is. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hoping it's blueberries. My last food intake was uh. Eating the leftover seafood and the steak from last night. That was it. Hey. They told me there's a Delano Lounge. I'm gonna go check that out. I'm more curious about the lounges than the pools because I very rarely use the pools anyways. But the lounge access I use all the time.
I wonder what the temperature is outside. I might be overdressed with this uh, with this vest on, but I'm wearing the vest so I can have more pockets to put stuff in there. It's starting to warm up here. Yeah, what's the temperature today? <laughs> I'm wearing some, uh, I'm wearing a vest here because I need more pockets. Mm. Nothing like a Vegas morning snack like Danish and Coors Light. Oh, my eyes, that batter is a little fuzzy. Oh, yeah. I got a question for you. This area is so much nice. Not that that's not nice over there. I felt like it should be switched around. Yeah. The VIP, yeah. Because this one's brighter and it's just so much more. Right. Right, I came over there, but I always come over here because it's just, I like to chill here. I wish the stuff over there they offer is bring it here and vice versa. This is nicer in here, no? Oh, people want to be dark on the other side, like, like that, huh? Taking us on this very way. Hey, All right, you all ready? If you hear me, push number one. Oh, sorry, he happened. You all ready? All right, let's start. Let's try the beach here at Mandalay Bay. Let's go through you outside. Here, you're brand new in here. I don't think anyone's in here yet. Maybe nobody will be here because you guys are doing your. Own. Maybe you're at the beach right now, uh, at the pool. 
you hear this, you hear me yap right now, push number three. This is a microphone check, one, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Push number three, if you hear this, if not, I'm gonna go use the restroom, man. Yeah, let me take care of the restroom first. Where are you? We're going to go check out all the MGM pools at least. Uh, check out all the MGM pools. And I might have messed up. Where is that's there? I need to go restroom. One more. Check out all the MGM pools. I do have to end up over at Cosmopolitan at some juncture, ideally 7, 7 p.m. Mandalay Bay Beach. It's not the pool here, it's Mandalay Bay Beach. Ooh, it is warm up here. Gonna be at least 70 degrees. Oh yeah, it's bright. Warm. Oh yeah, w winter is done. This is spring, I guess, huh? Or it just automatically feels like summer. There's a fitness area on this side. Now, in Mandalay Bay, I mean, if you could, uh, not middle strip, but if you could take that aside, especially when I'm driving out here, Mandalay Bay is a good option for me, I think. Uh, hey there, guys, I, I gotta do a check-in point. I, I, think, I think they allow for one can Oh, hi. They said I could bring one of these in. They said they said one is what they said. Yeah, is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Is two okay or is this one? Is it one? Okay. Thank you. Hi. May I get two towels, please? That's just right there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the policy is true. I, I've, it's not outdated yet. Yeah, the policy is true. I'm going to tell you guys. So you're allowed to bring one alcoholic beer in a can. Just maybe, nothing in a glass bottle. Just, you're allowed one. And uh, I got clearance on that. Here's the thing, guys. Oh, this is interesting. They moved the water station. No, there's one here. Oh, I know, I see what they're doing. 
Because they used to have the water cups here, but they put another one here. Okay, because at the end of the day, this is going to be the most important element here. These water stations, they have them. It's not like uh, you can bring your own. Oh, there's cups up here. Okay. These. Hmm. You can bring an empty bottle, your canister in here and do your thing. I remember doing that. But here's the situation, guys. Uh, no one's in here, so I can do my thing. If nobody's in here, I gotta make my uh, TikTok videos then. All right, guys. Hey, 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 check this out, guys. We're at Mandalay Bay Beach here. Mandalay Beach, however you want to call it. I feel like this is the... Let me show you one thing, though. Two things. First of all, you're allowed one alcoholic beverage to bring in, okay? But it has to be in a can, no glass. So one beer, one of these, it was all good to go, right? Another thing. Another main thing about here. They have water stations. They got one here hidden. They have another one here right by the entry so make sure you bring and dr you know what let me do this again take two hey 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 what up guys check it out we're over here at Mandalay bay their pool area here the beach whatever you want to call it but two things of note over here you're allowed to bring in one alcoholic beverage whether it's a beer or one of these things but it has to be in can form it cannot be bottles Glass bottles. Also, number two, very important to stay hydrated here with water, okay? They got water stations here where he's getting water stations, and another one here. And they have another hidden one over there. I'll show you later. Eh, but just by the entry point, two here, okay? Let me do a little walk situation. I'm gonna try to try to do this with you guys. I gotta try to figure out how to hold this and do it like this. There you go. Gotcha. Maybe like that. Yeah, this might work right here. Yes, this is working right here. Vertical and horizontal. This is working right here. Bam. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh yeah, here's the beach area. And I want to tell you right now, this is the only pool situation or uh, Manly Bay here, but I don't mind paying a reserve fee. Because over here, especially if you have family, I mean, check this out. Now this is a resort fee. I don't mind paying, right? You got the sand going on, this and this and that. And you have that pool situation over there. More like a beach, ocean, because they got the waves going on. Now, it's not strong where you can bring your surfboard or anything. But, uh, yeah. It has a very resort beach feel. And over there, there's a lazy pool situation. For those videos, for more detailed videos, check out my YouTube channel. It's the numeric one. One take situation. It's a one, one take situation. Look at that pool right there. Let's get it close up. Let's catch the pool, let's catch the wave.
Hey, hey, hey. Okay. okay. I think that sort of worked. Are y'all for uh, anyone in here? Okay. Put the phone in the back. Hopefully that's it. Uh, Sorry, the lazy river. Man, is this spring break? There's a lot of kids here. It's like, what the hell? Shouldn't they be in school? The lazy pool. There's a ninja right there. Ninja. <laughs> well, get a costume like a ninja. I'm not saying anything more or less on that. I just thought of ninja when I saw that. Hey, hey, hey. I need to get something like that. Be out here in the pool, get a little wetsuit, covers me up. Here's a little chill pool on this side. Let's check out the lazy. One of our viewers was asking, is the lazy pool open over at MGM Grand? And this is open over here. I guess it's going to be open over there. I don't, I've been to the pool over at MGM Grand maybe at one time in the last 20 years. I don't remember seeing their lazy river, but... Let's head over there now. How about that? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, are you wearing your sexy Speedo? Hey, what up, Mike Campbell? Mike Campbell, if you hear me right now, please push number one. If you hear me right now. Okay. If you hear me right now, push number one. I gotta do this TikTok video again. That wasn't very good. Hey, hey, hey. Check it out, guys. We're over here. here at Mandalay Bay. Boom. Now, this is one hotel that I do not mind them charging me a resort fee. I do not. They should. With amenities like this, with the wave situation and the whole situation, especially if you have kids. I mean, this resort fee over here, it goes a long way. It actually goes somewhere with it, okay? So I'm just been trying to gouge you here. And another thing, guys, you are allowed one alcoholic beverage in a can form, right? No glass bottles. So I brought this in, I showed it to them, it was all good to go. Water bottles are off, obviously okay, okay? And speaking of water, guys, there's a water station by the entrance point, stay hydrated, and there's another one over here somewhere, right? Cold water, good water, filtered water, so if you want, you could also bring your empty water canisters. And they got little cups there for you, for you to use. Lazy River, more quiet pool situation there. And if you have Delano access, which is over there, more even quieter and more luxurious seating arrangements there. And you know what? I think they never said no if you walk in there. I don't think you have to stay at Delano, but it's just right over there. Long story short, this is great for families, great for just anyone who want to have a beach resort experience. For more detailed videos, kind of like this one, check, check out my YouTube channel. It's a numeric one, one tech situation. And right now, I'm gonna go check out all the pools with the MGM properties. So this is the first one. So I'm gonna take this around until pool, because I don't know if the other places allow this, but I'll take this around until they make me drink it. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna check out the uh, one alcoholic rule.
Hey, hey, what up, guys? Number one. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's keep it moving, guys. Let's go. I know. Hashimika. Let's go. Next one. So the uh, the truly I had, I'm just this is a testing situation. I won't drink it until one of these spots say, "Hey, you cannot drink it." Or no, no, one of these spots say you cannot bring one in. Because the policy I know for Mandalay Bay, you're allowed one beer to bring in or brought in, or however you say it, as long as it's not glass bottles. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me, especially if you have kids. I mean, how do you beat this, right? And it's not like they're charging anything extra to use this. You know, nothing extra. It's like you get to use this with the resort fee you're going to pay anyways. I mean, it's just incredible. This almost makes me want to go have some kids and then bring them out to Vegas, get them hooked on Vegas, and <laughs> just drop them off here. And then I could go do my YouTube in. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't want to hit my shoe where Oh, did I save myself? I, I got, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. I made it. Oh, jeez. Woohoo! Yeah, I didn't want to get my I didn't want to get my shoes wet, you know. In respect to Kobe, sand is okay, but not you know pool water. Ooh, that was close. I didn't think it was going to come down. Extend all the way there. What you know about extensions? Hey, hey, hey. Just like LL Cool J said. You know. <laughs> at least two pairs. Alright. This is cool. I was hoping to get access to Moria right now. But it's not even open right now. So, so we don't have to even go there. Let me give you a little one pan shot. Give you a little situation. Beautiful, perfect weather right now. This is it. This is it. All right, y'all. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And yes, I'll down a little water at the watering station here. We should. Let me just always stay hydrated. Always. There's a watering kiosk here and watering kiosk on the other side. Stay hydrated, my friends, especially in the summer. And especially if you're drinking and then in the hot Vegas heat, I mean, water, 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 water. And bring your canisters. I used to do it when I stay here, bring down there and fill up my canisters because, you know, I love to have water all, at all times. Appreciate the thumbs up. Let's do it. Let me see. That's right in there. Quit knocking your little old lady trying to keep your feet dry. Hey, hey. <clears throat> now that's beautiful water. Cold. This is this is it, guys. Don't forget, guys. Get water. What up, Tom Vu? Where the fuck at, Tom Vu? At this point, I need some spring rolls. You know what I'm saying? Some broken rice and uh, some spring roll. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's keep it moving to the next spot. You know. I do want to check out the Delano Lounge that they just told me about. I didn't. I'd never been to. I never stayed at Delano, and she just told me earlier there's a Delano Lounge there. Maybe we'll come back later for that. Let's take care of the pools first before the sun goes down. Guys, 
please, uh, I'm not using a gimbal. If it's shaking way, way too much and if it's too unbearable, do make a comment on that. I'll consider putting it on a gimbal if that's the case. But I'm doing my best to kind of stabilize this. But at the same time, I think going gimbal less is better, you know, because it's a little bit more incognito. Not a little, not too intrusive. I'm trying to get my new one. Hey. That's not, or get it. No, hey, uh, my gimbal, it was all good. My Cambo, I felt great last night. I felt good just to make sure it kind of settles in so I could have an answer. Because there's no way I want to be live streaming, walking around the strip, and I have to let it loose. You know what I mean? But no, my stomach feels fine. And uh, I'm good to go. Thank you for asking, Mike Campbell. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Comes on to all of you out there, please. If you're enjoying this somewhat, push that button. So others who might be interested in checking out the pool situation for the summer season here, or pool season, it's not summer, they could join this and uh, it reaches them, this little video. Hey, hey, hey. Anya Hashmika. All right, let's go with the boom, boom, red, the Toronto. That's that. Let's keep it moving. I'll be centralizing my... Dude, should we walk all the way? Because I was going to take my car and uh, I was going to take my car and take it over to at least New York, New York. Uh, let me see. Go here, go there, triple there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking my car to New York, New York. And then I've got a, I got a game plan from there. No, I take this back. I got a game plan now. Hang on there, guys. This is Mandalay Bay. Face and you don't feel like sardines in a can. By the way, I love sardines in a can. I really do. I really do. But if you want your space, you can't beat Mandalay Bay where you got your space. Look at this. Look how wide this casino walkthrough is. Like absolutely not. But then there are some people out there who want the, the, the narrow walkway. You call it the butt funnel. So they could, you know, smash butts with people walking by and feel. All right, I'll shut up. All right, guys. Again, three to two blackjack to the right. Uh, three to two blackjack to the right. It's $50 minimum now, but usually it's $25. And again, if you don't see anyone at the table, but even if you do, don't be afraid to ask, hey, you know, I know this is $50, but can I play for $25? And 80% of the time, they'll let you. If it's an empty table, or maybe one other person. And if you see, oh, here's another thing, guys. Let's say you're playing on a table and, and if the I won't call them pit boss. I call them pit boss. If they change that limit from twenty-five dollars to fifty or hundred, they'll make some adjustments according to the uh, the demand and schedule. If stay what you started at, right? So you're still paying twenty-five dollars, but the table shows a hundred dollars. No, we'll just say the table shows fifty dollars, right? You're still betting twenty-five dollars, and if you're walking around and you see this table going on, and you're like, "What's going on here?" You observe his betting. He's only betting $25, but you see the minimum is 50. You're like, oh, well, this good. And you'll think it's unfair, this and this and that. But the reason is, he was grandfathered into the previous amount, okay? However, when that happens, just say, hey, can I do $25 also? And kind of, you know, say it in a nice way. And, you know, 99.99%, .99 they'll say, okay, go ahead. Okay? Let's go. We're gonna head over to, uh, Hey, hey, hey. On your husband, God. I forgot. I forgot where I parked. Come on, let's do it. All right. 
I got ideas here. Oh, audio's good. Okay, audio's good. And this is where. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna drop one of these off. I'm gonna drop one of these power banks out. I'm not gonna need it. It doesn't look like. Drop this here. Where do I drop it? Just drop it like it's hot right there. Right there. And in the meantime, I'm going to charge the, the Fonioli's. Okay, let me see if that goes in. Give me a sign that it went in, please. And it didn't give me a sign. Did it give me a sign? Is it in? No, it's not charging, huh? Okay, hang in there. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so, this vest is a, yeah, this vest is a, it's a thing, it's warm, it's warm in here. Hey, 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 what up guys? Uh, did you keep the seatbelt? Yes. Kel, stop at Hugo Boss and get your sexy underwear. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, Mike. I don't know about you, Mike. Mike Campbell, you like Luther, Luther Campbell in a way, Luther Campbell. And even, if y'all know Luther Campbell, comment below, guys. If you know who Luther Campbell is, let's talk about this, guys. Let's really talk about this. Ooh, we need to like speed this up a little bit. We need to pace, we need to pace this out a little bit because I do want to check out the MGM Grand is the one I want to. Really check out because I I want to see. It's been a second since I've since I've been there. So put that in. Put that in. Let's go. This is uh, the microphone still good. Let me know. Let's a microphone check. And uh, let's go over to okay. We'll do those. We'll do the Excalibur Pro and Luxor Pro real quick. We'll do those. And then we'll park it at New York, New York. Okay, I got a game plan, guys. I think this is going to work out. I got a game plan. I got a game plan. I got a game plan. leaving the Mandalay Bay parking structure and uh, I'm always confused by this parking structure it's such a big situation because of the uh, all the events that they hold here convention centers and hope now the football games and this and this and that oh ooh, one of them one of the cars is just like hazard situation so this is obvious sometimes you think should I take the left or should I take the right but that person has a hazard situation let's not line up next to that car Hope they're okay. Come with Okay. I gotta put you on mute for a second because my car doesn't work on these kiosks for some reason. Like any card, new card I get it, whatever, it just doesn't register. Uh, put it on mute.
here. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. All right. We want to get over to. Uh, let me think this through. The most. Uh, I don't mind walking, but at least I want to have my car situated somewhere where I'm upon my return, maybe. I do I need do I need these guys right now? I'm fully I'm fully uh, So what the hell is this exit? This is interesting. Where are we going? Frank Sinatra Drive? Self parking. Uh, let's go to Frank Sinatra Drive and we wanna enter. Let's go check out Exc Excalibur and Luxor. I've never been to either one of those pools before, so let's go check those out. Do a little quick B-roll. You know what I'm saying? A little a B-roll. This is the perfect time to do this. If it gets any more hot than this, geez, I'm not, uh, I don't know what to say. Here we go, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Little situation there. This guy just all the way out for no reason. I mean, I don't know why this, you know, this car all the way out for no reason. You know, you're creating a blind side because you could see your left side. Okay. Okay, we want to look for Reno and uh, bust the right turn on Reno. Hey, hey, hey. Now the Excalibur pool I don't have any idea where it is, but uh, hopefully we get lucky and park around the situation that's most convenient. Here's Reno, bust the right. They say hook a left. I'm gonna bust the right. So park it right in between where we get to check out MGM parking. Okay, I'll just park in the middle. I don't mind walking. Way. Okay, we'll do it at the Excalibur. Is everything, or is everything better if I just go in there and hop back in the car for these three? That might be the case. You know what? Let's do it. That might be the case. That might be the case. Let's give it a shot. Because I know the pool's like here over this parking lot, right? Just that's where the luxury parking lot. I mean, the, that's where the luxury pool is. Ooh, this is where I gotta get the uh, both both film for uh, horizontal and vertical edit version. Eh, I don't know. Do I need to really exit? Do I need that? I don't know. No, I'm gonna botch this plan right now. No. Situation over here. Different situation over there. I'm gonna botch this plan right now. I think the other idea was just Excalibur first and go around. Go on there. This is looks or checking this over there. I'll just give it a try without the oh you know what? Maybe I hopefully I have the card in my Luxor card. Uh -huh. Do they have a stop sign? I hope they have a stop sign. Once we get through these three, uh, these three properties over here, and this sort of signifies the situation with these locations of uh, Luxor, Excalibur, especially Luxor and Mandalay Bay. It is away from the middle of the Vegas Strip Strip, but just stay patient. Once we get through these uh, few properties, then it'll be all smooth from there in terms of uh, no interruption. It'll be just walk to the next one, walk to the next one, walk to the next one, walk to the next one situation after that. I'm just gonna get the, but however, we can't, you know, leave behind Luxor or Excalibur, so we'll do it. But it'll take a little effort, just like if you're staying over here, it'll take a little effort. For you to do your thing. 
So, a little effort doesn't hurt once in a while. But the main one I want to see is the MGM Grand for these days. That's the main one that I want to see. The main one I want to do, do the B-roll on. You know what? Those, my, you know, this is a pool video. So. Okay, we'll just park it here and then do both. And they'll give us also a chance to check out the, the property vibe and kind of touch on the uh, little snippets of these particular properties that we go through. And my decision here is, do I do the do the key thing just to have a backup? Because they might not let me in without a key. Uh, I've never had it. Uh, I'm going to sound like a jackass, but I've never had an issue walking into pools without a key. I just kind of show them the, uh, just say, show them the, uh, the card, the, the rewards card. And, you know, with it, it comes with some perks. Never been, they never said no. And I usually just say, can I just go in there real quick and just come around, take a look? And they have always said yes. And, uh, but the end, always does not mean it'll be always tomorrow. For example, will the sun always be here? Technically, yes or no. I don't know what that means, but I'll shut the hell up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, sun, for being here today. Thank you. Comes on, uh, sun. How do you say sun in Korean? Let me know. Uh, man, my Korean is so horrible. Can't even. S don't. If I think hard enough, I'm sure my body, my my mind knows how to say son. All right. Hopefully, it registers. Can we just take a ticket. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So the lady in there, she's saying she could see the card. But I don't know why it's not uh, executed when I put it into these parking kiosks. And while I talk about this guy, here, when I'm staying at Luxor, I park my car here. Because uh, it's convenient, more convenient than the Luxor parking lots. So this is technically Excalibur, but in the summer, I'm not sure if I want to leave my car in the, in the baking sun, though. That's the only thing. But for sure, in the winter, I like this parking space. Cool story. All right, let's keep it going. Let's go check out uh, Luxor. Hey guys, if you're in here, push that like button and real comment, comment if you like. Uh, whatever. Just let me know if my mic is working. Oh, we'll let you know if it's not working. <laughs> well, we'll let you know if it's not working. No, let me know if it's working. It's easier that way. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. I don't need this. Much in this. And, uh, let's go. I don't need that. Boom, boom, boom. What up, guys? Oh, you know what? I don't need my tea bags. Huh? <laughs> I don't need my tea bags. By the way, these look like some good tea bags, huh? I don't need this right now in my life. Let's put it in the stash. What up, y'all? Just doing some stuff live streaming here while I'm doing a pull situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's got to be the coolest uh, Charger driver ever. Yeah, he was waiting. I was trying to like kind of, I'm lucky the other way, just kind of let him know that you know he should he could go. But he was waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. So this is the live stream version down the line. I'm taking some uh, B-rolls here, so hopefully soon I get to edit a video out for this and show you all. I guess if you're here, I guess you don't have a point, a reason to watch, but uh, 
this is too much. Come back in about a month or so of next year and I'll have this full video of the engine properties edited out next year. Yeah, I'm so far behind in my videos. I don't know when I'll turn these out. I really don't. But let's go, let's check out the luxury pool. And I'm gonna take a chance here. Because the pools are here, right? The lugs are full. Oh, geez. I feel like the pools are down here, right? I don't see a sign. No, the, the gym is down here. Where's the pool, though? No, I'm tripping. I've got to be tripping. My memory is failing me. I think it is this way, the pool. No one's really in here. Okay, let me use this. I want to take a chance. No, it's the other way, I think. Okay, let's go take a chance. Let's take a chance. Hey, hey, hey. No, it's not that chance in the payoff. Man, I can almost promise you that there is access to the pool down here. I'm trying to think. No, for real. Huh. All right. VIP lounge here, down here. Very nice people in there. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna just grab a, uh, let me see if I, if, I a, if I have a key here. Jeez, I thought that's where the pool was, but we'll figure this out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys. <laughs> Speed up. Okay, pool fitness. Okay, that's what I'm looking for, right? Pool fitness. Hey, hey, hey. Pool spa. Okay, here we go. Pool spa. Oh. This is interesting. I could almost, oh, maybe take the elevators and I can, or maybe I am. I just thought when I was in the towers, you could go directly to this area. Here we go. Yeah.
All right, y'all, here's the point here. Let's see if I can get in here with the, with the credentials I have, okay? We'll just say it like that for now. Let's see. Let's see. But at the very worst, I got a Mandalay Bay key with me right now. So Mandalay Bay lugs are, they're sort of like sister brother properties. So I should be good. I'm put in the pocket though. You know, I'm at Mandalay Bay. Is can I check it out real quick with these? Yeah, Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna do too much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh. So they did the check there and there was no check the bag or anything. So I guess you could bring stuff. They're more casual here. And then I'm just surprised by that. I haven't been to a post situation where they didn't do a, a little check before you walk in in terms of uh, having alcohol or not, right? Okay, so that's a big plus, right? That's a huge plus. And they are building something here. Or are they destroying this? I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but they have a huge space over here that they're gonna work with. Okay. okay still a walk through. Yeah, if you know the guidelines to this, comment below, but pretty much, so I don't have to down my drink yet because they didn't force me to. Large space, this is way bigger than it looks from the views I've had of the pool, which is one time from up there. And uh, that's pretty much the consensus of these places. When you see it up front in person, it's always like, whoa, it's so much bigger and longer and wider and all right, heavier and hey, hey, hey. Okay, let me do my little B-roll here. Uh, is that a slide? No, that's not a slide. That's just the water coming down. I wish that was a slide. That would be dope if you slide down. Cool. This is very chill, like pool one on one. Nothing too crazy, but still, it has the biggest experience because you have the the pyramid in the background, and uh, definitely better than the Caesars budget property counterparts. For example, Link and Harrow's their pools definitely way better than that. I think, except the location. Okay. All right, y'all, hang in there. I gotta do something. I gotta do a TikTok video. <laughs> hang in there. At least you can hear me audio while I do my TikTok videos. It puts a little pressure for me to perform on the mic, but hey, it is what it is. I could always edit this out later. Hey, 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 check this out, guys. First of all, I'm over here at Luxor. I'm checking out all the pools, at least for the engine properties right now. But check it out. Hey, guys, what was here before? Are they demolishing this or are they building this? What's Actually, it looks like they're demolishing this, right? Not quite sure what they're doing with this, but here is the Luxor vibe here. Here's the pool. Looks large and spacious. Okay, for a budget property, I mean, it's still a cool vibe in here. You know, families, uh, big old area, a lot of space. Uh, coming in, they checked the, uh, they didn't necessarily ask me if I'm bringing any alcohol in or not. They just kind of check your room key and kind of let you funnel in. But uh, this is, it's not a tortilla anymore or a Dorito, but uh, still a pool situation. And I'm kind of hesitating here because I thought the, the security might arrest me or not. But. Uh, all right, let me show you a little bit of walkthrough. I was hoping that was a slide over there, right? They're coming down. But it's not quite a slide. But yeah, plenty of space back here. 
I don't see any cabanas, but hey. Oh, there's cabanas back there. But geez, look at this. Look at this pyramid. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a video on this, all the pool situation, on the edited version on my YouTube. So uh, check me out on the America One. Okay. One take situation. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this is good for families. If you just want to catch some sun, plenty of sun here. Plenty of sun. That was no good. I didn't like that one because uh, I, I got the security guard was coming after me. I thought I was going to get arrested. At MGM, this is the pyramid here, and uh, I wish that was a sliding pool down there, but very chill. Oh, am I in your way? No, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, I appreciate that. Comes a Hamida. Let's go. Okay, we gotta do this. All right, good old pyramid luxury here. First time here checking the pool situation here. I'm not quite sure what they'll do with this. It looks like they're demolishing something. Maybe they're building something. It looks like they had a pool here before. And uh, yeah, cool chill vibe for families. And if you just want to catch some sun, there's plenty of spots for you to catch some sun and that be blocked by a hotel building. All right, wide open and uh, Plenty of space down here. They got some cabanas, it looks like, on the other side, but we don't need to go there. This is what it is, and it is what it is. And I heard they got some good drinks down there. You know, it's alcohol. By the way, coming in here, they didn't check my bag or they didn't check anything for this today. So I don't know if you could bring your own stuff in terms of the alcohol or not, but they didn't do a check, so we're good here. Oh, more cabanas here. Okay, I'll just keep on. Next spot, let's go. <coughs> so the Excalibur pool, Excalibur pool, I've also never walked into that one either. Let's go check that out. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you. I think the uh you wanna call that the gym? The gym situation. Hey, hey, hey. That cool chill vibe, man. I mean, oof, yeah, that's a fitness center. Let's go. Oh, it's like Scalabur. I say it every time I mention the pyramid here at Luxor. Why didn't they call this the pyramid? That just flows out a little bit boring. But, you know, I guess Luxor sounds like luxurious. And at the time when it was built, it was considered a luxury standard. In terms of just the uniqueness about it, right? Uh, Luxor, the pyramid. Uh, I guess Luxor is better. Because you have a couple more Long Beach Pyramid. You also have the Pyramid in Memphis. But those came after this. Those came after this one. And I think this is bigger than both of them. Maybe combined. Hey, hey, hey. What you know about combining? What do you all know about adding and subtracting and combinations? Let me know. All right, let's go to Excalibur. With Excalibur, I'm not so confident. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Can we go straight to Excalibur from here? Maybe that might be the walk. Yeah, let's walk to the Excalibur from here, and then we'll grab the car afterwards as an option. These walkways are walking. These walkways are walking. Oh my goodness, I need it. Just enjoy this moment here. Beautiful, like uh, incredible. Yeah, you can't make this stuff today. I mean, people think it's the will, but to do these theming situations, especially with like this kind of architectural kind of a situation, it just costs too much money. And you know, it's a business. You know, their way of it, they're, they're fooling us. They're trying to dictate what we want with these, you know, like bland, look like office building setups with decor. They think it's fancy because they slapped on, a, you know, some gold paint. They're fooling us, guys. They're fooling us. That's not luxury, guys. This is luxury. And gaudy. And Vegas. This is Vegas today than it would be if you, you know, if you built the Fountain Blue. I'll say it. I'm telling you, by far, it's not even close. They're fooling us, guys. Resorts World, Fountain Blue. That's way more cheap to build today or versus if you want to build the pyramid here today. Like, not even close. So they're trying to fool us to think and dictate our mindset to say, like, that's what we want. That's the standard. That, that's luxury. No, no, it's not. Like, even Excalibur. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm pushing a little bit with the room amenities inside. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello. Well, that's good. Many times these are not working. We we'll take advantage when it's working. What's the name for them? Cool little walkway. Now, is Excalibur Sisters and Brothers of Luxor? Or is it Luxor and Mandalay Bay that's Sister and Brother? I think it's Luxor and Mandalay Bay. I think. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going through Excalibur here, guys. Crispy donuts. I love donuts. I wish I could get one now, but I gotta keep trekking. Oh, here's the, uh, the Excalibur Buffet. Never had Excalibur Buffet here. But, you know, some people say it's, it's good. Others say it's not. I don't know who to, who to believe or, you know, again, they both could be right. They just had it in separate times and uh, it, it could be both legit. Now, I'm not, all right, I'll just shut up. Some people have it uh, good or bad, but, you know, it looks a lot more spacious than... I would have guessed because it looks clean. It looks new. I mean, it looks like a you know, reputable buffet spot. It's so huge though. Long, it's huge. It's bigger than Wicked Spoon for sure. It looks like it's almost like two, well, twice the size of Wicked Spoon. Here's uh, the Australia Thunder from down under. Shout out to all the Australians down there. Uh, there's word if you're a single man want to roam around and you know be on the hunt and I don't know maybe hunt is a little aggressive but I hear a good place to meet ladies is here at this bar because of this show they'll come here and have drinks they'll be having a good time and you know especially I'm sure you'll have pretty good luck if you look like one of these guys but yeah I heard you could just hang out here and just kind of have opportunities to mingle cool story I've never done it <laughs> 
Hey, hey, hey. Terry Fator or T Factor Fator Three o'clock on the dot. Alright, where is the pool situation? Let's go find that out. Now I gotta remember this guys. So I came out of there. They have a new center bar. I wanna get to the exit. Man, I want to say this way. Let me see. Because they have so many little different parking corridors here. It's confusing sometimes. It makes me wonder. Okay. It's the Johnny Rocket exit, I think. Because I'm coming over there. And it might be the Johnny Rocket exit. Okay. Noted. Noted. Oh, let's see if these machines have back raw. No. They don't have back raw here. No Bakra machine. Oh. Oh, let me grab a key here, just in case. Oh, Excalibur key. Okay. Oh, maybe they don't have it here. Are, are those it? Baggage pickup. All right, let's keep it moving. Okay, cool. Let's go find the uh, the pool now. Let's go find the pool. Yeah, I get confused where it's where. It's still kind of. Oh, it's the word is disoriented in terms of spacing. Guys, if you hear me talk right now, if you hear me, I'm trying to do a sound check. Let's do a sound check. First of all, thank you for being here. And this is a center bar here that they just opened up a couple months ago. Cool little space. It's an NGN thing to do. And if you hear this right now comfortably, please push that two button, which will let me know the microphone's working. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Let's go find the pool. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the Johnny Rockets exit. We'll figure this out. Where's the pool? VIP lounge. If you hear this right now, push number two. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you very much. Come to Hamida. Oh, okay. Sound check good. Uh, I want to go do a little ho housekeeping real quick. What up, Selena? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Selena. Uh, I want to do something real quick. I'm going to put you on mute. <laughs> Let's 
right? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, a no situation, but I want to ask. We found out where it was. It's for instructions. Hey, hey, hey. Resort Tower. Let's go. Rihanna is playing in the background. How's it going, everyone? Thank you for the sound check. I did a sound check request and then put it right on mute. I should have waited afterwards, but I didn't think anyone was going to respond. But hey, hey, hey. Okay, Resort Tower. This way. So there's a resort tower and a royal tower. Just off the name, it sounds like a resort tower would be on a tier below the royal tower. But from what I hear, it's rever I think it's the other way. People say resort tower rooms are the ones that's uh, more recently updated. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. But I say this every time I come in here. I see the most happiest people in here, whether it's with their kids, just people, older, happiest of smiles, I see them here. Not even close. Not even close. On, on average. On average. All right, here's a pool area. Let's go take a little quick peek. We'll come out. Let me down this water though. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. This is just amazing. I don't care what anyone says. It's fun. You know? There's you, know, you bring your kids here, there's a learning moment, you know? You come here and you know, learn about the history and this and this and that. I mean you take them to Resorts World or even Fontainebleau, all you're gonna teach them is how to be a douchebag. <laughs> and uh <laughs> All right, that's kind of a and 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 you gotta just teach them how to just gamble and that's it. But over here, you bring them here, you get to show them different places, and you see, oh, look at this. You know, when you're kids, you see stuff like this. This is probably a lot more impressive than if you took them over to uh, Fontainebleau, unless they're already, you know, bougie bougie kids already. By the way, nothing wrong with bougie kids. Nothing, absolutely not. I'm just saying, if I had kids. Which I don't. <laughs> Water. I'm talking about what I would do, and that's it, nothing more, nothing less. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I drank the other water? Damn, I needed that bathroom. All right, we got it. Let's go. Janet Jackson's about to play in the background. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Janet Jackson. Shout out to Janet Jackson. I'm going to put you out there. Hey, put you in the pocket when I enter. So, by the resort tower. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, you can actually exit from here. Oh, interesting. Let's do that. I never. Yeah, this is a cool little exit here. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So this would be uh, Tropicana and uh, T-Mobile Arena. Oh, this is a cool view. I mean, yeah, this is like a uh, medieval. I think it's cool. I think it is. So good to have these. Something else. This is cool. What is cool? Hey guys, put your pocket while I go to the pool. Thank you. Yeah. I've got the. I've got one of these. I'm not going to drink it inside. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to drink it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and since we gotta go to the spa, here's a bit check, guys. Oh, I like Quicksilver, by the way. Oh, they got some Quicksilver stuff. I used to wear this in the 80s. A little fit check going on here. Hey, hey, hey. She looks breezy, and uh, all right, cool. We go through this. <clears throat> all right, y'all. Here's the Excalibur pool, and the entrance. What's the word? TSA check on level. Let's say from you know, let's say one to ten on a chill level. All right. Chill level is one. Ten level is we got we got to patch you down. We got to do a you know machine gun check or you know a metal check. From one to ten, that was a chill. We'll just say five to keep it fair, you know, because you know what? No, no checking because it depends. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that because every experience will be different depending on you know your energy or how you look. They might profile you this and this. That. I don't I don't want to come off like a because I know I realize. I get some privileged treatment when going through like checks like that. I totally realize that. But there's cons to that as well. There, and we'll I don't need to talk about the cons to that right now. But uh, yeah, let's not do the check situation. Let's not do that one. Um, but it looks like they don't allow alcohol in here. There, there's a list of, of lists not to bring in, items not to bring in. They don't have it. Uh, I'll shut the hell up for a second. Let me do my TikTok videos and we'll get the hell out of here. Let me find the spot where I could get a better view. Yeah, yeah. yeah again, this is a, this. If you don't account for, account for the you know the location on the strip, this beats any other Caesar's budget properties. Like just this right here. You know, it does. I might come off like I'm more of an MG, team MGM versus Caesar's. And uh, that's the case, guys, 100%, that's for sure. So take this with a grain of salt. I'm sure there's some bias built into this, but again, it all comes down to preference. Just so good. We're both right and we're both wrong at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the cat! Oh, this is a cool view right here. You know what? I'm gonna take some uh, zero here. Yeah. Again, more family on this side. I don't know if there's a reason for that. And uh, children, 20, 12 years old and younger. Accompanied by adult. Maybe this is more the adult side, or is this closed? I don't see anyone in the water over here. Oh, that's interesting. I don't see anyone in the water on this side.
Well, that's interesting. Oh, it says pool clothes, that's why. It does say pool clothes. But if you want a little shade, you can get a little shade. Again, this is one of those situations where you're not blocked off by the building if you want to catch the sun. It feels incredible here right now. Hey, hey, hey. Hang in there while I do a little TikTok situation. One take. Let me do a little TikTok video. And guys, like 90% of these videos, TikTok, I don't use them. But, but I got to do them. That's a cool picture of uh, New York, New York back there. If you're wondering what the hell's going on, absolutely nothing. I be right back. Check it out, guys. We're at the Excalibur here, and geez, it's a lot bigger than I thought. You got a big old pool here. It's not open, but on this side, it's doing its thing. You got Luxor in the background. You got Delano in the background, and you got a bunch of people on the rock background. Up east, you got this option, and yeah, and I'll say it again. If I have to pick a side. I mean, this is so much better than the budget pool that they offer with the Caesars properties, such as the Link. I know I guess those are fun as well. And because of the location of those more centrally situated, yeah, that they do their thing. But if you don't mind that it's away from the strip a little bit, middle strip, now this is cool. This is cool. Plenty of sun. You're not being blocked off by anything. Just a nice vibe. Yeah. Cool. More videos like this one, more detailed situation. Check out my YouTube. It's on America One. One take situation. One take situation. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this is uh, this is cool, guys. Plenty of space. Pool's not open here on this side. Um, Let me use the restrooms while no one is in here.
All right. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it moving. Wow, this is big. How big? Real big. All right, let's go grab the car, go over to New York, New York, check out New York, New York pool, and then MGM Grand Pool. That's the main one I want to catch. We drive over to MGM Grand. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. The thing we're up, pop up. How do you exit? All right, exit this way. So, just side notation. Yeah, this pool, it's automatic, it says. It smells good. Yeah, it, so the list here is no outside coolers, uh, no outside drinks, no outside drinks and food, it says. So no alcohol here, actually. So, so far, I think the only clearance where you can allow for one alcoholic beverage, not in a glass form, is a uh, Mandalay, one per person. So my car would be, I should have walked on the outside. Now I'm sort of, that's there. So if it's that there, it's gotta be exit that way. I had a good time here at Dick's Last Resort during Thanksgiving. Actually, on Thanksgiving. You know, on Thanksgiving, I was here at Excalibur. And I uh, told myself, for Thanksgiving dinner, do you wanna, do you wanna, right, I'll shut up. I'm not going to say that again. I've said it one too many times. I've said, it, I've said it one too many times. But I had a very good time there. Like, everything you saw, everything I've seen on the... Uh, on, on the videos of other people, it was exactly what it was. It was fun. Okay, if that's the case, oh, I need to go. Okay, now I go over here, guys. Hey, here's a roulette. Should we do a quick roulette session? I'll do one bet on 27 and 21 and 23. Yeah, let me do one bet. See where it goes. One bet on that, all right? We'll do the blue. We'll do the blue. We'll do. We'll do. I'll put in one twenty-five dollar bet. Okay, we'll just do the strictly numbers. Okay. We'll do strictly numbers, and I got twenty dollars loaded in here. Let's see, uh, oh, 21 came out there. So let's see here. Oh, I missed it. If 21, 27, 23 comes out right now, I'll be so mad. I missed, I missed the boat. I missed the boat. Here, here are the, uh, the trend. Here are the trend. Do you see, wait. Do you see this? Oh my God, what do you mean, do you see this? I work at, I, uh, I'm at work, but I try to answer. Let's go, oh, you got excited here, huh? I didn't, okay, let's do this five, the numbers, the triangle here, and I have one extra $5, I'll just bet it on just random number uh, eight. And that's that, that's it, we, we gotta walk, we, we gotta go back to the pool. And let's see the wheel from here. See the wheel from here. Hey, hey, hey. 27, 21, 23, and number eight. And it's a number three. It's a number three. Well, that's it. Let's go. Let's keep it moving.
Our number is 23, 27, 16. That's way too many numbers. Our numbers. We all. Yeah, I remember the 16 hitting. But 27, 21. 21 is my number. And a mud like the uh, 23. He also likes number four. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, it, it is what it is there. We tried, but we gotta keep it moving, trekking. Gotta go check out the other pools here. By the way, Johnny Rockets, I'm, geez, Johnny Rockets, man, I don't know why over here it's so pricey. Nope, $25 almost, $25. I don't know why. Very friendly, family friendly budget property. That just sucks. That just sucks. That just sucks. Let me see the prices again. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Double rocket burger, cheese and fries, 26. Again, cheese fries, double rocket. Yeah, hey guys, yeah. It's for a combo. There's some that's like $24.99 or $25. If you want bacon or anything else, like kind of like that, it's hovering $28. Pre tax, pre tip. Ugh. That just sucks. You know, Johnny Rockets. I'm not, I'm, hey, we got to make our decisions. I'm not saying they are, I'm entitled for them to price at any point. I'm not saying that's absolutely not what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. It just sucks to see those prices, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Especially for Excalibur or family, like a burger meal? Gosh. Jeez. And that's what makes me wonder, guys, because Whataburger, prime location, Whataburger. For a combo like a combo comparable to that was fifteen dollars for me at Whataburger, and the burger was better than over here at Johnny Rockets. And I hate to say that because Johnny Rockets is more LA, Whataburger is Texas, and I want to you know I'm LA dude, but man, jeez, yeah, yeah. And then you see stuff like you know Ocean's One where they're able to do you know five dollars, six dollar lunches and seven dollar burgers at night and all that kind of other stuff. So that all tells me it's possible to do. However, hey, it all comes down to supply and demand. If we ain't talking, they're gonna do what they gotta do. They're a business. They gotta make as much as money, extract as much as money from us, and that's their job. As you know, you got your job, I got my job. We all. But man, that's. <laughs> Anyways, I love burgers, guys. I love burgers, and take on burgers has always been this. Hey. Oh, where's your favorite burger place ever? All these places where even like 10 years ago, their burgers were like 13 bucks, 15 bucks 10 years ago or 15 years ago. I've always said, if a burger is over $10, that is not a burger for me. Or that, and that is not a burger to me. You know, buns, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, mustard, ketchup, mayo, whatever, right? some buns and that is it. I don't need some truffle oil. I don't need this. I don't need that. I mean, there's times for that and I appreciate that taste, but if someone asks me what's your favorite burger, consider all that other stuff burgers. That's something else, you know? Especially when you're old. Man, if I want a Wagyu beef, if I do, I'm not digging in burger form. If that makes any sense. Right, I'll shut the hell up. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna drive over to New York, New York. And hopefully, we'll get to see some more pools. Uh, it's not working. It's gaming. It's gambling. It's $70 for two chicken sandwiches. Sophia, Sophia Nagard YouTube video. I don't know who Sophia Nagard is, but yeah. Over at the two chicken sandwiches, $70 at Excalibur? No. No. I mean, if you like chicken sandwiches, I go to a Hattie B's or even or even a Side Betty. And uh, 
what is that place called? Uh, Crack Shack. Crack Shack over at Park MGM. Those for under 20 bucks, you could have a combination chicken sandwich. And Hattie B's is good. I like Crack Shack also. I love Crack Shack. It, the sandwich might turn some people off because it tastes healthy. If that makes any sense, their sandwich, uh, the chicken, fried chicken, tastes healthy. All right, I'll shut up. Let's keep it moving. But yeah, in terms of my burger preference, it, the in and out burger is sort of the standard. Although I do wish their burger patties were a little bit thicker, but I get it. Since they have to make it fast, you got to have it thin. But there's also beauty in having thin patties, especially if it's smashed. Hey, 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 it's hot in here. Ooh, let's turn on some AC. Let's keep it moving. Let's go check out the MGM Grand first. Let's get that out of the way first. Because we're running on time constraint here. Yeah, let's go check out the MGM Grand. Because their walk's gonna be ridiculous. I don't know what time their pool closes, but all these pools might close at by five o'clock, something like six, I think. All right, let's go. Daniel Boulard Burger ruined all burgers. Daniel, Daniel Boulard, I don't know who, what happened? Who's that? I mean, there's still burgers out there. I mean, in and out is there as a basis. Uh, and you know, just give me in and out, but with little thicker patties, that would be like, I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm good with in and out. And of course, you have to account for the price point. So in terms of a Vegas burger, why am I paying that for Excalibur burger? You know, for, for fast food burger at Johnny Rockets, for that price point, for almost the exact same price, maybe you might pay it a dollar more or two. I will go to Gordon Ramsay burger at Planet Hollywood, same price. Same price. Same price. Even Holstein's. Better burger. I prefer Golden Ramsey over Holstein's. No doubt about it. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, Golden Ramsey is a few dollars cheaper than Holstein's. But, you know, same in the world. Same world. The only difference is if you want alcohol in your shakes, you go to Holstein's. But, hey, the milkshakes over at the Golden Ramsey is good. Just put in your alcohol. You're, you're putting in your own alcohol. You're good to go. It's, it's going to be the same thing. Or just down their shot first and then drink your milkshake. Ugh. Thank you. All right, I'll shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I gotta put you on mute, I think. This doesn't work, but sometimes it does. It really doesn't. Yeah, call them. <laughs>
Oh shoot! Damn. Oh no sound. Oh jeez. I was talking a lot of. Sh I'm glad there was no sound because I was talking a lot of. Um, what I was. I'm just. What I was saying was just a little game plan. We're going to go. To MGM Grand right now. I've never parked over there, or I don't remember how their parking situation is. So we'll park it there. Go check out their pool. Because one of our viewers from about um, a couple of days ago, she was wondering if their river is open, river pool. So we'll go see that, check it out, do a little quick little film session because I've never, ha I don't have B-rolls from there anyways. And then depending on how we come out, we might take the car back. Once we get to New York, New York, it's going to be easy peasy. All this thing we did right now was just a setup to get there. All little setup. Put in the work first. We'll get the output later. So from New York, New York, we could go to Park MGM, Aria, and then we'll go to Bellagio Pool, and then check out Cosmopolitan Pool at the very end because uh, Cosmopolitan now is part of MGM Properties, although their rewards programs haven't been fully integrated. And then at the very end of all that, Cosmopolitan, they're known for their slot players and their slot games. A lot of uh, bigger slot players like spending their time at, at Cosmo because they say Cosmo slots on the on the strip are some of the loose Lucy ones or how do you <laughs> Lucy ones, and uh, they like to play the high limit slots over at the Cosmopolitan. I'm not playing high limit slots. I don't know whatever that means, but we'll play some slots maybe. But at the very least, we'll play some video poker because I'm conservative like that, uh, and I want to get that thing done by yeah seven eight. So if I go on there a little quicker than that, that's good. A little later than that, that's kind of good. But that's sort of my the loose scheduling for this. Sound this back, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. So MGM Grand, I don't know how their parking works. I really don't know. Technically, I guess I could just kind of, kind of valet the car. Isn't it crazy how much they charge for valet parking now? Just a blink ago, just several years ago, all parking valet was free. It was based on uh, tips, gratuity. And uh, you could just pull up to any of the casinos here, and that was a given. So this is why I say it's collusion, the, the industry. There's no rivals here. They're all in this together. They're a team. Sort of like the NBA basketball teams. Technically, they should all be playing against each other, this and this and that. But no, it's a business for the industry. All right, let, me, let me focus on driving before I get too amped up. Excuse the shaking, I'm freestyling this with my arthrit arthritic hands. So hang in here. Uh, that's not a joke on arthritis, folks. I really do have arthritis, I think. Not yet, but it's getting there. I will in a year or two for sure. Hey, what up? Beautiful, beautiful New York, New York. Beautiful New York, New York. Come on, you can go, let me go. Beautiful New York, New York. They want to fool us and try to build us Fountain Blue and Resorts Worlds that look like office hotels because they think that uh, they're trying to fool us and thinking that's luxurious, that's luxury. Uh, can I make a left here or not? How do I do it? Uh, can I just signal make a left there? Or? But no. They want to gear us towards that because it's just more costly, expensive to build hotels like New York, New York, and Luxor, and even like, you know, Venetian and uh, Bellagio, where it's heavily themed in a certain way. Even Caesar's Palace, all those statues that they have, you try to commission that out these days and they'll do this, do that. All right, I'll shut up. All right, cool. Well, there's Top Golf, guys, right there, Top Golf. If, if I could have kickstarted this live stream earlier in the day, or even actually like morning. Perfect time would have been like 10 a.m. But you know, I woke up at 10 a.m. But I just didn't get myself out until whenever time I left. It's just the way, it's just the way it is sometimes, guys. And MGM Grand self parking, the focus here. I mean, just the entrance is a little weird. And just, you know, 
I, I said, you know, thank you for this. And, you know, I didn't get any heart. I hope I didn't stress them out. Because I had to make a little little turn to get over here to South Park. And, you know, I don't remember. I don't remember any of this. <coughs> for parking rates, 0 to 24 hours, it's uh, $18. And I'm not going to even pull the ticket. I'm just like... Do this because the card's not working anyway. This is weird. Right, right, right. There. And I wonder what the pool closure time is. It's got to be more than f after four o'clock now that it's spring. In the fall, they you know because you you don't have sunlight, they'll close down at five or four. But right now, we still have a few more hours of light. You know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate all the thumbs up. Thank you. Comes up and down. Yeah, where do I park? Where's a parking act here? I don't have a clue. I don't. Last time I drove in here to park was like three years ago. <coughs> when I was rushing in to eat the, a certain food at a, at a reservation time. I didn't want to be late to. And uh, Dave Chappelle was performing. And the parking lot was like crazy. Crazy. Dave Chappelle was performing. This is like three years ago, two and a half years ago. It was crazy. So where do you park? <laughs> I don't even know. Where is the uh, casino sign? Where is the casino sign? I'll figure that out first. Oh, now I remember. So the kind of elevators are in the middle somewhere. Okay. So kind of in the middle, then you walk backwards, right? Okay. So here it is. I feel like they had escalators back then. Is it just the all oh, elevators? Oh, the, okay, I see the escalators now. Okay. It's sort of like a set of like Mandalay Bay almost. All right, I got this figured out. Guys, hang in there. Hang in there. Get back to game plan. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it like Brutus. Let's do this like Brutus. Yeah, huge, huge part of the church. Oh, I'm do it fourth floor. Oh, let's just do it. Why not, right? Got the new watch out. Yeah, we can do it right here. You know, park into a nice little car. And there's some protection. something it would be funny if I hit something right now how funny will it be well for you it'll be funnier for you I'll still laugh it off <laughs> that's probably yeah hey, hey, hey. thank you for joining this live feed and the YouTube video brand new in here uh, check out my editor videos and if you find any usage out of any of those videos subscribe comment Shut up. I completely good. We are good. I am getting a little hungry. I, I had a few Danishes or Danais to start this off. Put that there. Let's do this like Brutus. If you heard of that, the sound is back. So it looks like it's an industry standard or MGM stand to have water kiosks at their pool stations. I don't remember seeing that over at Bellagio though. Or maybe it's hidden on the other side, which I, I don't ever go to the other side. The first time I noticed it was at Mandalay Bay. And I was like, whoa, that's a cool little touch. I thought it was very specific for the Mandalay Bay situation, but no, my observations now, that's, I think, an industry code to offer water like that at the uh, MGM pools. <coughs> oh, snaps. Oh, boy. It's all the way there? No. I don't want to. Ah, it's, 
How far are you over there? At this point, I thought this is the access point here. This is sort of a confusing sign, right? Because it says down here. Is it downstairs or does it mean go here? You know what I mean? So, is it down here or is it down there? Or up there? Eh, yeah, I'll shut up. Oh, look at that. Speed racer, go! Hey, hey, hey! How much? Guys and ladies, any ladies in here? Ladies, we got a grandmother in here, I think. How much will this Coke detest? From this dispenser will be how much? Let's take a guess. How much? Put it in right now. How much you think? Let's say a bottle of Coca Cola costs right now. How much? Put the numbers in right now. How much will this be? I'll. I have an idea, and I'll keep that number in mind. Anyone? How much? All right, no one cares. All right, no one cares. I think it'll be four bucks. There's no price. That's how expensive this is. Hello. How much will it be? Oh, 375. Oh, not too bad. Three twenty-five. Tony, no thank you, Tony. Bamboo. No thank you. <laughs> I don't need what you to tell me or nothing, Tony View. Tambu, you're a fraud. <laughs> Tambu is a fraud, guys. Tambu, hey, hey, hey. 250, it was at 370, 325, which is not bad. I thought it would be like four bucks, but 325, not too bad. Yeah, I wish it was 250, but not too bad. I mean, I don't wish for anything. I'm not gonna pay for soda. I don't think anyone should pay for soda. Maybe like, uh, you should pay for soda maybe one out of ten times you crave it. Soda is bad. Soda is bad. Soda is bad for you, especially with high fructose syrup. Now, if you have an opportunity, you must drink soda. At least check if they use, you know, sugar cane, not the high fructose syrup. Okay, so the walk down wasn't too bad. Go straight, bro. <laughs> what up, Tom Vu? Tom Vu is in the house. Tom Vu is the only uh, troll that we have on this channel, and we love trolls. Appreciate, oh, Subway's there somewhere. Oh, yeah, that Subway smell. You know, that smell is so, like, I guess I'm getting hungry because that even Subway right now is tasting tasty or smelling tasty. What up, Tom Vu? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Tom Vu, you still owe me some pho? <laughs> what up, Tom Vu? Uh, how was, uh, how was, how did Zuko? Did you all finish your bottle? Did you get any action? <laughs> Or did you just end up getting pizza at Cosmopolitan? Come on, man. What a bad way to go. You're going to spend, uh, you're going to drink a whole bunch at Zoo, get the bottle service and everything, and you're going to end up getting pizza at Cosmopolitan on the other side? Hope you got some action out of that, Kombu. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're staying at Palazzo. Why don't you go back to Palazzo or Venetian? They got some uh, late night pizza spots, right? Go to Lux or something like that. I mean, Cosmo. Who wanted to go to Cosmo? Unless you wanted to go maybe back to Marquis. I think Marquis might be open till the morning sometimes. No, not really these days. So anyone, where's the pool situation over here at MGM? Let me know, comment below where the pool is. Let me go pick up a key.
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Which clubs have you been to? That's a question for me. Let me ask. Uh, let me answer that. Which clubs? In Vegas or in, in, in the world? First of all, Go, go straight. Hey guys, because I see it, let me take a little break. No, no, we'll do it on the way back. Let me go use the restroom though. All this hydration situation is over. I'm over hydrating here. Where's the pool, guys? Grand Lux. Grand Lux is typical. Secret Pizza at Cosmopolitan is typical, like times 100. <laughs> go, t sp speaking of typical, Going to Zook and doing bottle service is typical. Tom Vu, come on, man. What's wrong with top typical? A middle-aged Korean man live streaming on YouTube is typical. All right, where's the restroom, guys? All right, I know where the, where's the uh, pool's on this side. Wet Republic. Hey, hey, hey. What up, Tom Vu? Pho is typical. Hey, hey, hey. A Korean dude eating kimchi is typical. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with typical? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Grand Lux is typical. <laughs> Your mama is typical. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Your mama is typical. Uh, clubs I've been to topical in Vegas. The ones that are yeah, open. I've been to all of them. But let me hit the Russian first and I'll think about it while I make it wet in there. I'll be... Hang in there, guys. Russian break.
we didn't pay for it, so it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we're, let's go to the pool real quick. Go a little B-roll. Uh, clubs. I'll, I'll tell you, since stemming all the way. Yeah, I can't go too bad. I mean, I've been to clubs when it was in the 90s, right? Uh, Oak One over at Mirage. Had a very memorable time there. Uh, XS. I had some of my memorable times at XS when they first opened. Uh, XS. I got some pretty, yeah, like maybe a couple of good times there. Uh, I had a, a situation over at uh, Omnia that was memorable, but in a not, a not a positive way. And I could get into that talk sometime in the future or later on. Let's look for the pool. Um, the first one, yeah, I mean, Hakkasan, been there, Hakkasan. It was kind of cool, but uh, I like places like, you know, Dre's After Hours. That, that was happening and uh what was it my favorite one in the modern times the favorite one in terms of space and just the just the vibe it's not too big it was marquee for a while although nothing ever crazy happened with me at marquee ever so that's kind of boring for vegas but just a standard size wise marquee But yeah, overall, if I have to just, I've never been to Tao, by the way. Oh yeah, that's surprising. I've never been to Tao, which is funny. I had a high school friend who DJs there for many, many years, uh, many, many years. And for one reason or another, I've never been to Tao. Uh, let me see, where? Oh geez, look at this, guys. Look, where's the pool, guys? Look at this convention. Look at all these people going into their uh, Grand Tower, Studio Tower. Oh, this is crazy, guys. Let me show you this. Convention going on. This is with all the all the pizza guys, AMC. And this was such over at Mandalay Bay yesterday. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Never been to Tao. But okay, hopefully that answered the club questions. How about you? Where where's your favorite club that you've been to in Vegas? Oh, now that I experienced uh, the, it's not a club club, but the Park MGM, off the record or on the record, I had a real good time there. So if anyone suggests right now, hey, where, where should we go do our thing? I would be like, let's go off the record over at Park MGM. That's what I would say at my stage in my life. My life, my life, my life, my life. Where's the pool? Where's the pool? Oh, Wet Republic pool. They got food, conventions, man. So it's interesting. I'm seeing the convention people that's rolling here. Very different demographics from the one I saw at Mandalay Bay yesterday. Very different, but it's still, I don't see a lot of Asians. Oh my goodness. I feel like a salmon going upstream to lay my eggs or get some eggs. I don't know how you say it, but I wish they just pick one side, they just take it over the hill. Oh, can we go this way? All right. Like how much space do they want? Okay. Oh, now I know what, I remember what the pool is. It's all the way over here. Come on. Yeah, this is crazy. This is AMC. I see AMC. AMC 24. So I, I don't know if it's a annual kind of conference for AMC folks, but AMC. Where are they getting their food place? I want some of that food place. Or, by the way, best uh, king crab leg I've ever had was here. Like, not even close. It was as a, my, as a it was bigger than my arm over here. From forearm to the, yeah, my forearm. Let's build my forearm. Uh, 
My tongue got twisted there. I got it untwisted. So how much? How, you got enough? Yeah, he has enough, huh? Yeah, like seven bags. Hey, hey, hey. When trifecta, when trifecta now, mostly gone. Excess, surrender, trist, trist, trist. Wait, surrender. Where is some surrender at? Why am I tripping? Surrender. Is surrender. Where's surrender? You know, I've never been to Jewel, Jewel nightclub at Aria. Jewel. Oh, you know what? My favorite also was uh, Hyde over at Bellagio. Hyde. But that's, again, that's not like nightclub, nightclub. But during those times, that was still considered a nightclub during those times. But nowadays, I mean, these Vegas clubs, you don't think about those spots. You think about Vegas clubs. Where was Surrender? Surrender. Trist, Trist. Trist was at... Uh, that's at Venetian or Excess or somewhere in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's been a while for me, guys. It's been a long time for clubbing because the last time was I was, I don't want to say forced to go. It was like a bachelor party situation. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, all right, you know, and I don't know these guys too well. When they're cool and all, we cool, but it's not like, you know, bro, 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 bro type of situation. Yeah, went in there and they want to do bottle service. Cool, cool, cool. And just some stuff transpired there that's just like, ugh, ugh. Ugh. Basically, I don't ever want to be at my age going to a club and it's a situation where we split the bill for a bottle. You know? Not at my age. Like, I'd rather not go. You know, whether it's me or someone else, just take care of the bill, you know? And we'll take care of it later. Not this like, oh, boo, 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 boo. That's just my take at my age. It sounds like kind of a douchebag a little bit, but it's just, it's just there. I just had a horrible situation like that with this one time that I did that with. But, you know, going to Korean clubs when I was younger, that's different. Splitting the bill was pretty simple when you go to Korean clubs younger, you know. But if you go to Vegas, oh, I'll shut up. I'll just shut up. Let me go out here a little bit. Oh, gosh. I'll just shut up for a second. Surrender was, it's true. I'm guessing you're saying it's true pertaining to my take on the splitting the bill, bottle service over at the, my age. Uh, even when I'm younger, it's like, hey man, like we're in Vegas. Like I don't want to be in a weird situation, especially on that situation where I don't really know the group group. If we're going to go, one of us takes care of it. That's it. Just let's move on. $5, $5 bottles for 100 bucks. What up there? People v for old for old bottle service? No. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Come on. I just don't want to deal with that. Absolutely not. Just, just, and I suck at asking for, oh, you owe me money. I suck at doing that. I don't want to do that. And that's probably the reason why I don't even go down that route anymore. Just I don't want to deal with it. Like, if, if I lend someone money, or if they, someone owes me money, they should know exactly what they want. They should pay up exactly. All right. Let's go. Hang in there, guys. Laser, laser. Hi. Hello. How are you? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um... Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not planning to drink this, but are you allowed to bring one or none, or just yeah, it doesn't matter? Uh, you are. Okay. 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 Right. I'm not gonna drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Promise. Promise. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey man, uh, again, you know, I think it's, it's grandma was the one who brought this up that kind of woke me up. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, there's pros and cons to every person's identity. And uh, definitely being Korean or Asian in Vegas, you, you, get the, the, you get to experience a lot of the pros of uh, just privilege, at least in Vegas. Um, yeah, like, uh, anyhow, where's the, oh, the lazy pool is not open. I forgot to ask. Let me ask what time, what the lazy pool situation is. I forgot to ask about that. Do, do you know what the lazy pool like uh, scheduling is? On Friday, it's the first time for the season. Yes. So oh, really? It's be the first, oh, not the first time for the season, but it is now. Now. They are. They, they open it on Friday, and they're gonna open it for the first weekend. And it's gonna be on the weekend, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Gotcha. And then after that, in April, it will be every day. Gotcha. Until April, so it'll be a weekend basis situation. Yes. Until gotcha. April. Gotcha. April. Yes, Thank you. But it does open. This Friday. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Kamsa Hamida. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. So, got some cre uh, clarity on the lazy pull situation. Um, so, lazy pull is not open right now. It'll be open on this Friday and leading up to April, which is, oh, April's just around the corner. So, so now until April, weekend situation only. So I guess the next two weekends, and then starting April, it'll be an everyday situation. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Yeah, it's, it feels very cool and somber here. I remember there was a club, beach club. So I guess that's on the other side. Let's walk. Come on. The one just, just someone just be the bank. Hey, hey, hey. Someone just, just someone play the bank, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. If I told you this story, yeah, I mean, it's an old story. I'm going to come off like I'm talking like uh, behind people's back and this and this and that. But the experience really, I had one of those like the worst possible club experience uh, in terms of with your group, whoever you're with. It was the, uh, getting accused of things that I didn't do and it's clearly I didn't do and then at the same time we'll talk about this later on later let me see where am I trying to go uh producers so where the hell private pool where's wet republic and the lazy pool if I run into him when I go in May we go into forum shops Mike so did you find this man a sexy speedo <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, Mike Campbell. One of my childhood traumas in involves Speedos. If you want to hear about that, guys, push, no uh, push that thumbs up button and push number five. Oh, yeah. This no, this is, uh, this is chill. Yeah, another open area here. Sort of has that. Uh, yeah. I thought it would be like nuts, like crazy and stuff, like doom, like popping music and. Popping bottles and stuff like that. I guess that's Wet Republic. This has got to be somewhere else, huh? Where's the Lazy River? Let's just follow this, guys. Boom, Lazy River. Right, let's follow this. I'll do my TikTok video in a moment. Hey, hey, hey. It looks like uh, here's a lazy river situation. Oh, now I see what's going on. Just right away, I can tell this lazy river might be bigger and longer and better than the lazy river over at Mandalay Bay, I think. Yeah, it looks like it, huh? No, it goes all the way. Yeah, yeah, for sure, this is way bigger. This is more grand. It is, huh? 
I wonder if MGM built this after Mandalay Bay. I feel like this was the answer to Mandalay Bay. Because I, I don't think this was like this back in the days, in the 90s, before Mandalay Bay. Let me see, come on. Yeah, I can't fully engage back there. But yeah, yeah, definitely. This is a more grander situation with the with the river. So I'm curious if I had to put my money on it. I got a feeling because remember, Mandalay Bay was a not an MGM property back then. It was on its own. And the MGM Mandalay Bay basically got built to answer for an answer for Bellagio and MGM Grand and the whole thing. They they wanted to knock out everyone. That's why they made it so huge with the convention space. And from the look of this, it's got to, yeah, this was built after Mandalay Bay. Yeah, this is, this is, dude, how long is this? I can't even walk back there. Huh. Uh, so if you, if I run into you, wait a minute, okay. I, I'm going to do a little TikTok video, guys. Hang in there. Closer. It's closer. Hey, 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 check it out, guys. So here's the pool situation over at MGM Grand here. And yes, it is grand. You got a little space over here, a grander space over there. And then the main key here is everyone is inquiring about is the Lazy River here at MGM Grand. Now, this Lazy River is bigger and grander than the one over at the Mandalay Bay. My first time kind of taking paying attention to this. And yes, this is, this is incredible. So you got the one spot here, you got the Cabana Grill, and then there's another pool somewhere I lost track of. But trust me, there's another pool area. Okay, here we go, right there, boom. I hope they don't take my phone. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the other side of this pool. I thought someone took my phone. I'll be right back. No, you know what? I, I gotta put you in a pocket. This is so big. Like, I'm nervous someone will take the phone. Who's in here? Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. I'm gonna put you in the pocket. Hey, 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 what up guys? Check it out, we're at the MGM Grand here and checking out the pool area. Huge, huge. And they section off with different compartments and different sections. And a little, nice little bar here. And uh, they do have Wet Republic on the other side. And uh, trust me, let me show you. you no, know, no, I'll start. Let's do this again from this side. Too much walking here. Let's sit right here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Let's do it again. Perfect. Walk over there. Talk right there. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, hey, hey. What up? Check out. We're at MGM Grand here. Here's a pool. This sort of reminds me of how Bellagio setup is, right? Kinda. Kinda. Here's another one here. Kind of chill out on. And you have the center bar here, but everyone is wondering. 
about the lazy river here. It is bigger, longer, and just wider and grander than the one at Mandalay Bay. And it was my first time here seeing this. Let me show you. It's closed right now. So we're leading up to April. It'll just be open on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays leading into April. So we're almost at April. So it'll be open every day in April and throughout the summer. Cool little place. Man, this place is big. This place is, this place is big. Yeah. This is huge. And then right there, Wet Republic. If you want to get wet, if you want to get Republic, you put it together and you go right there. More detailed videos of stuff like this, check me out on YouTube. It's Numeric One, One Take Situation. That's Numeric One, One Take Situation. Hey, hey, hey. Almost done. One more, one more bureau on this side. Uh... Well, I'm gonna come like right this way. You wanna be behind me? I wanna do a little video. I'm sorry, here. Man. Another pull on this side. All right, cool, cool job. Let's keep it moving. Well, it's five o'clock, they close at five here. I think that's it. I, I don't think the other pools are gonna be open past five. It's an MGM thing. I mean, I don't know, do I even take a chance going there? At this point, it might be a, you know, we'll, we gotta, you know what, I gotta try. Let me see, I do have some bureaus of the other spots, let me see. Do I really need to go there? Because, let me see, what's left? Park MGM, New York, New York. Okay, Aria, Bellagio, Cosmopolitan. They're all still left. You know what, I got another phone, let me double check this. Guys, I got a video on this coming out, right? Let's talk about this, right? Because right now, they don't have this escalator working here. Okay? They don't have this escalator working. It's, it's, well, I guess someone turned it off. This is a little bit different. So I'll shut the hell up and let's keep it moving. But if the operators had to turn this off, if, right? If. And they need to access one of them, right? 
I feel like always the one that's working that they choose to decide open, they should always reverse this thing. You know it's coming down? It's easier to come down, so let them walk down the stairs. So turn this around going up. You know what I mean? Like reverse this, have this one working going up. Always the one that they decide to work on or work in or let it work or let it operate, go upwards. So hopefully, I'm not really operating that well, but you get the point here. Because I'm like flabbergasted here right now because I can't walk up these stairs right now. But that's the way it should be when they're doing repairs, maintenance, and they got to shut one off. The one that they decide to turn on should be always going up, up, not down. I mean, that makes most sense, right? Don't you think? If you agree, comment below, <laughs> push that like button, and subscribe if you agree. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this is horrible. I'm walking up these. Why do, why do I need to walk up here? You have one working. So flip that to go up. We don't care if it's left or right here. It really doesn't matter. We're not, you know, there's no designated area where on the right side it has to go down. That makes most sense, right? Thank you. Can I push a button and reverse this to come back up and save the universe? Because that's the biggest thing. You know, a lot of times they do maintenance on one side. The one that they say to turn on, man, this should always go up. Hey, hey, hey. What you know about going up? Up, up, up. I want to look up the schedules. Ah. Their schedules are so inconsistent if I look them online anyways. Let me see what time is it. It's five o'clock. It's five, right? Five. So it's coughing up the storm. Full hours of hey, hey, hey. Yep. So New York, New York it says it's closing on at five. Let's see. Uh Bellagio pool. Five. Zero. Oh, I should have done this before I decided. Yeah, they're all closing at five. Oh, Lodge will pull might be closed at four. Unless this hasn't been updated. Let's see, Cosmo pull. I bet you Cosmo's still six because they're so much better than all the other uh, engine properties. And being Cos Cosmo, Paul 10, Earth 10, pull. Hours. Cosmopolitan for hours. Yeah, see, this is the beauty of Cosmopolitan. They're like, hey, we're open till sunset. You know, which is it? Like, that should be the defining pool hours, anyways. Let me see. Day club. I think it just says, uh, envelopes. Chelsea pool, let's see, Boulevard pool, what time? Boulevard pool, no, no. Well, it has an explanation mark here. So I'm looking here. But let's see what that uh, little asterisk is. Pool hours are subject to change due to inclement weather and special events. Okay, maybe they are, yeah, they're all starting out at five. That is what it is. Hey, hey, hey. That is what it is. We're going to Cosmo slot. Yeah, Wang, we, I have to go there. I got to get there. I thought I was going to, you know, streamline going over there while doing these. Uh... Yeah, I, I do. International smoke. I've never had this here. Smells good. It's like an Asian fusion type of a barbecue spot with the... Uh, Aisha Curry. Is she part Filipino, Aisha Curry? I don't know if she is or not. Is Michael... 
But I'm smelling this. I could smell the Asian component coming out, and uh, along with the the traditional barbecue, American style barbecue. Unless it's a movie now, Pulse should be open then. Yeah, movie nights don't start till summer, and it happens on like a Monday, all right? Yeah, uh, and by then they will increase their operation hours but maybe the one i saw is not updated because it doesn't make sense for them to shut off at five but it kind of does as well maybe they're just opening up soft opening for now and then readjust the hours come april maybe that could be it or maybe because usually it's like but now that mgm is doing their thing it might be just under mgm standards, which looks like it's 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. right now, closure time for pools. That's the case here at MGM Grand and also the ones we privately, privately walked to. Oh, golf store? Now what is this? Golf store or am I tripping? Yeah, this golf store. Bad Bunny? Psycho and Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny. How much, guys? How much? Hey, hey, hey. What up, Mike Campbell? <laughs> All right. Yeah, but Wing, I do uh, need to get over to Cosmopolitan one way or another. At this point, I might just go grab my car here and then situate ourselves somewhere. I am getting hungry, though. I am getting hungry. Let's see what the lounge over here has. Maybe I'll have some quick food. Maybe I'll me to bite on. Mobile Arena to go to the Hakasa. Okay. What are they building here? This used to be not here. What are you gonna do with this? I don't know, but Joel Robleshawn is here, guys. Uh, I got a Joel, Joel Robleshawn video coming out soon, bud. So stay tuned. I went there maybe a month ago or so. Let's see what their menu is. Oh, they've increased the menu, guys. So I'm glad to come in here before they increase the, uh, the price. Because it, it was around the $475 mark for a while. It was like 465, it was like 475, but now since I, now it's 525. And let me see what the we got the caviar. This is gonna be the uh, crystal tart da -da -da, roast dog, caramelized. I'm trying to see spit roast duck, rug and confit. I think this might be the uh, still the let me see. Dun dun dun. Yeah, this is the same still almost. It, the, the price just went increased for this uh, for this menu. This is the winter, maybe uh, winter menu. The price has gone up about 50 bucks. And before they used to include uh, tea service, but they don't include the tea service anymore either. So they're, they're double whammy now because tea service is about 25 bucks. Uh, 25 bucks. So essentially, effectively, they increased the price $75. You know, yeah, it, it's about 75. But again, it's been around that same price point, 475, 465 for for about three, four years. Uh, aside from the fact they took out the tea service, 
But uh, all right, cool story, cool story. Hey, hey, hey. So crazy. Even at the price, they probably lose money. So crazy. Even at that price, they probably lose money. Huh? I don't know. Did they lose money? I'm not quite sure. I mean, did they lose money? This is the the, the more casual one here. I don't know if they have a dress code here, because over there it's for sure the dress code in there. Uh, just mainly. Dressing is okay, you know, casual is okay, but just no hat for sure over there. But I wonder what the dress code is here. I've, ne I've never done this because if I go here, I just go there. That makes any sense. Um, consomme. Okay, so this is like the Discover menu, 255 for that. So about a half price, but you don't get as much, obviously. But because uh, over there you could order a la carte, and at the end of the day, whatever you order over there, they say they're very confident in saying, "Hey, you got your money's worth." You know, I I I don't read any of these, man. Oh, hook it up, scallop. That was delicious. Wagu, Kagoshima, Kagoshima A5 ribeye. Hey man, just give me that Kobe instead. If you can't get Kobe, there's no reason why you get me Kagoshima or Michuma. I'm kidding. I, I just like the Kobe. I mean, Kobe is a standard, right? And they're pre prepping. Let me show you some of their artistry here. I uh, get to observe them, prepare, do their thing. And uh... hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, he, he waved. I waved that though. He waved back. Yeah, what a cute, cute gesture, huh? He's like, what is that middle-aged man over there? Uh, he's he's like, any ladies out there, you want to, you know, meet a dude who could uh, handle some meat, let me know, comment below. I want to knock on this window and give you a little shout out. Okay, it's okay. I'm being creepy if I stay there too long, but you get the point. Yeah. <laughs> that was cute, huh? He waved back. <laughs> he probably like, who's that jackass out there? <laughs> so mansions to the right, uh, they do have some flat coffee in there. That's good. Uh, but then we can get some flat coffee over here. Let's go see this other place. So crazy. Yeah, uh, Selena, can you touch up on that? Because I didn't know the, the it was a loss leader type of situation. Because I do know they're always packed and so forth and so forth. But if you could give us some details on them, the restaurant, is, but they have it. Because, man, I mean, Bill's over there. I mean, <laughs> they order a couple of wines, this and this. You're coming out at least... If you order, you know, alcohol and this, and have this, I bet you their average ticket per person is at least eight hundred dollars, at least, because at least because you have a couple of those clients that go in there, they're ordering, you know, some sort of stuff, and it's like twenty thousand dollars per person type of situation, and that drives up the average, not the median, the average. So, uh, Selena, if you could kind of inform us on what that is when you say they probably lose money even at those prices, let me know, comment below. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, I have to use the restroom again. <laughs> All right, let me hit the restroom again. Yeah, I, I used to, I used to spend, spend a lot of time for 2005, 2002, 2000. There should be a bathroom somewhere. But it's weird. It feels the same, but it doesn't feel the same. And I don't have a clue on anything. I don't even know where the hotel rooms are now. All right.
hang there, rest in time. Thank you for holding. Thank you for holding. Come to Abdullah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fine dining always loses money because they need so much stuff. Kitchen servers and special ingredients. It's hard to pinpoint charging a staff center. I guess three restaurants get hotel subsidies because it's more keeping gamblers on site. Fine dining always loses money. Huh. Hey there, I'm gonna go to a place a little bit more quiet. I'm gonna put you on mute. I need a little break. We'll talk about some stuff. Cause at this point, I think the other pools are closed. So it'll be a lost cause for me to go chase over there. So chasing is bad in Vegas. Do not chase or else you'll be ending up here all the time, all the time. At the moment, hang in there guys. Please have flat white, please. No flat white. No flat white, cafe. Let's do cafe, cafe mocha, cappuccino. What's the strongest? <coughs> cafe my cottage. <clears throat> uh, 
the something's good, okay? I thought they would have some food. Uh, Yeah, no, no food items today or right now. <coughs> Unfortunately, no food items, guys. No food. Maybe they no food items. Hey, 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 hey. They have they have, they have, they have, they have. Yeah. no alcohol in here too? I'm so confused. I thought they had alcohol in here and uh, they had a. I thought they had uh, some other stuff. No, they don't, huh? Oh, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna take off my socks a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Oof. Let me see. Let's do a little recharge. Oh, I'm gonna untie my shoes a little bit. So, what's going on here? I guess these restaurant hotel subsidizes because it's more about keeping gamblers on site. Brian Diamond always loses money. Hmm. Sounds like you have a fine dining restaurant background, uh, Grandma. Let us know. What's your background in fine dining? Seems like you know the inside scoop a little bit. So these crazy prizes, I guess these restaurants get local hotel. Sounds bad. Still? Can you hear me now? It should be okay. I was turning it on and off. Still bad? Let me, let me check. I'll check. Let me see. Oh, no food items here. They had food items here before. They're actual... This place sucks. Yeah, even their uh, no, no, no beer, nothing. I thought they had it last time. Yeah. Yeah, because last time they had like beer, smir uh, like beef smirking off or smirking off. Well, let go. Well, let go. No, I don't know. Is the audio okay? I'll double check since no one told me. Oof, let me see what the audio situation is. Take off my shoes for a second, guys. Check, check my cell. This copy is so freaking bad. Oh, it's... Sound is back? Oh, it is. I'm trying to double check right now. Okay, sound is back. I guess I can turn this off. Hey, hey, hey. I'm back. I gotta turn this off then. Put this back in line. Alright, this thing this thing looks overly sweet. Ah. 
I had to, oh, am I back? I think I'm back. I had to answer the phone. I was like, it says Starbucks. So I'm like, Starbucks? <laughs> I was interested in seeing what the Starbucks phone would be until, because I'm drinking, I got some of this. Maybe I thought Starbucks is calling me. Hey, man, you could get something better than this. Because I was getting a phone call that said Starbucks. Oh, this is good. I just feel this might be a little too sweet. You eat the whole thing, or is that a? Oh yeah, I feel like this might be a little too sweet. Whole too, too sweet for me. This has that look, right? It's funny that we know how it'll taste, right? A lot of times. All right, let's take a bite. Man, yeah, I think because of the convention is here. Because the convention, right? Uh, I guess the convention, where, what, wherever company they came from, they booked it all out. Maybe that's why they don't have the food out here, because then it would, it would be almost impossible to upkeep the food, right? All right, let's see. Actually, actually, for what it is, this is delicious. I thought the outside would be brownie, but no, no. It's like a very non-sweet brownie out there. It's like a cookie almost. Oh, this is good. But yes, it is, it's sweet. It's not overly sweet, though, because it's balanced, balanced out by the outside crust. I hope the outside crust is edible. Oh yeah, this is good. Man, I can, yeah, I can, oh, this is good. It's like a, um, it's like an Oreo cookie almost. You know the outside Oreo cookie, like the cream is sweet, and the offside work by the cookie portion. It's like that, but on a whole different level. That's good. I was worried that it was going to be a brownie. That's too sweet. What time is it? I'm afraid to get a watch, huh? What up, y'all? So, the question for Selena was if she has a fine dining restaurant background. I guess these restaurants get hotel subsidies because it's more about keeping gamblers on site. You'll never guess my real job. You'll never guess my real job. Oh, really? <laughs> never. <laughs> never, huh? Hmm. But the question was, were you? Could I guess your past jobs? Because the question was like, oh, was she involved in fine dining? Somehow. Now that's the question. Hey, hey, hey. Now you're putting a challenge out there. Out there, it makes me wonder. Now it's like, 
You'll never guess what I do. Or, what's the question? You'll never guess my real job. Wow, you putting that out there right now? Well, sounds like a challenge here. Anyway, guys, I got to study the... Uh, I gotta set the my my Vegas time, <laughs> just in case. Because MJM is a MJM wants to you know, MJM wants to uh, close me out. You know, never get, I've only I've only ever had one job. Oh really? Oh, that's commitment and dedication. Now that's throwing another loop. You'll never guess? What if I just go through a list of just all possible jobs? Oh, you'll never guess, huh? I mean, on the other side of that spectrum, I mean, everyone could guess what I do for, for, for my real job. Everyone. You don't need to guess. You're seeing it right now. This is my job. All right, guys, uh, one more minute. Just taking a little coffee break. I only drink coffee in Vegas because it's free. And then we'll, we'll walk and see if there's any. Uh... Thank you for the thumbs up. You guys, I want to start this live stream. Because this doesn't make sense, right? Because the pool is done. There's no more pool from here. So people who might hype on right now, like, what's going on? There's no pool action. So let me, let me, uh, I'm going to start the live stream again in a second. <laughs> Do I need to change it? Eh. I'll think about that. Hold on. If, if, is that Petite for a freebie or did you steal it from the conventional breakout room? Mike, I don't steal. What up, Mike? Cheers, everyone. Taking a little break here. I was hoping there would be some small bites because I don't. I mean, I'm getting a little hungry. We'll figure this out. But I thought the first option could be I could eat a few like snacks, just to tide me over. Um, is it tide me over or is it tide me over? I don't know. Comment below, guys. But in the meantime, I'm setting up my my. <laughs> it resets at five o'clock. I, I want to set this out real quick. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, so I can let it let it let it run. Might as well put the extra phone in like service, right? Because I don't really use this right now. I have four million sixty seven thousand five hundred seventy nine uh, loyalty points on this. And you could get cruises with this too, like like for two mil or three mil or something like that. Anyways, let me let me set this up real quick. Hey, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If I'm not gonna do it, I won't do it. It's, it's all a nothing situation for me, for the most part. So, that's my avatar. <laughs> oh man. How many points did I get? Hey, hey, hey. Like the, like the slot points don't really matter because you have a cap of like three thousand, four thousand loyalty points. If that does, it really doesn't matter. 
I don't even play it. I just push the button and let it kind of time on itself, and you earn points as time progresses. So you got, I, I, I gotta leave this on for about 20 minutes. Yeah, you have to go to the different properties. I always like to go here. Not this one. I like to go. This is the only one I go to because I feel like I could just set it and leave it. And where are you? Oh, here it is. Emerald City, which is funny. This is where we're at right now. If you have any tips on this, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm always down to tips on this. Um, but pretty much. Oh, snooze, snooze. Dismiss. So bet. So I go, I go to the smallest, smallest amount. It really doesn't matter how much you bet. It's just, it's on the time parameter. And then I put multi and I just put it on normal. And I just let that do it in my pocket. And it just, every so often it gets points and points and points. And uh, you get to do that two times a day. It resets at 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. Don't ask why I do it. Technically, I, 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 don't, I don't think I need it at all. Technically. <laughs> But they do have offers outside of Vegas, so it could be useful in that. For example, Saquon, Sa Saquon Casino over at uh, in San Diego area is included here, and they'll give you two nights or one night in a suite. And uh, one of our viewers, SoCal, told me the rooms over at Saquon are nice. That's what he said; they're nice. So, but no kids allowed over there, which is good news for me. But I've called them and they said, "Hey, if you utilize free rooms over here for this." They say uh, no resort fees over there. So I was like, really? No resort fees? I'll go down and visit you at Saquon. Saquon, Saquon, how do you say it? Cameron's there or is it here? It's over there. Hey, hey, hey. We'll be, your, we'll be escorting you up to your room. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, they have uh, also Royal Caribbean offers. NCL offers and some of the other stuff that's not Vegas related. So these points could come in handy for some other components outside of Vegas. Either way, I just set it, put it in my pocket or when I take my showers in the morning and night, just let it set and do its thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I got a pet peeve, guys. It's a pet peeve of mine. I don't care where I'm at, my place, your place, another person's place, or in a public forum like this. You know, I don't like to drop crumbs on the floor anywhere, especially just uh, even like a lounge area, restaurant. I just don't like to drop crumbs. And if there's a plate available next to whatever food item it's next to, I always like to put it and catch my crumbs on the plate. Like, for example, here, I, I will catch it here because crumbs come down, man, and every crumb counts. Maybe where I grew up, I was trained to not have any crumbs because if you have little crumbs like this on the floor, it'll attract cockroaches, you know, especially, you know, in, in, back in the 80s and this and this and that in the certain, you know, neighborhoods that I grew up on. You know, I catch all these, but man, all these people, you know, I can't, it is, I'm just saying for me, man, all this, if I didn't have this plate, is on the floor. On the, on, the, on the like the, on the crevices in the corner on the couches I'm probably sitting on right now, you know. Like the plate is available, man. Just take it or just or just put it in your mouth. I mean, everyone should do their part. I mean, no one wants to. Right, I'll shut up. Just I'm just saying. Pet peeve of mine. Hey hey hey. Especially if they do that at like my place. Oh man, I was, whew, oh. That's why I don't ever, uh, <laughs> I don't, okay, I'll shut up. Right, one more sip.
Tie my, tie my shoes. How's the micro, microphone working? <laughs> hey guys, if you hear this, share us your pet peeves. And you'll be like, I have many pet peeves. The one pet peeve that's crossing your mind right now, share with us what that is. Why don't you? I dare you. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Tie my, tie my shoes. Hey, you are on the topic. How do you earn money doing this? There, how do I, how do I earn money? Well, there, first of all, I only have one job. Well, there, you know, you know I, earning money is a sort of a personal question. Sometimes you earn money by investing money and investing money in time. Uh, If I could actually earn money doing this, I'm not going to be against it. He's just a male gigolo. <laughs> hey, so Cal, that's a big compliment, huh? With a face like this, if I could get by making money with a face like this, with the gigolo? <laughs> oh, man. It, er, earning money could does not necessarily mean ha getting money into the pocket, right? It just means you're earning something. Uh, is there is there a profit, noticeable profit that I could show you with the with the sheet? No, there's no profit. Uh, The way I put it this way is because, okay, what is something I like, I want to do that I could earn money off that's a job that way, right? That I want to do anyways. So the only way to make that happen is you got to start doing what you want. And, uh, and if it's done right and with a little bit of luck and a little bit of uh, sweat equity, a lot of sweat equity. Uh, chances are, I could get to that point. Chances, but uh, but nonetheless, yeah. Th this is a nonetheless. There is a revenue revenue stream that goes on from doing this. <laughs> Whatever that amount is, that's not important. That is not important right now. Whatever that amount is, right? There is a revenue stream. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what up, SoCal? How, how are you? SoCal, I was just talk, talking to him about uh, Saquon. Saquon. Which you, you told us that it's an adults-only hotel property now. But yeah, it's pretty cool you're saying, right? Okay, let's keep it moving. On your left side, let me drop this in there. Yeah, this is why they don't have any of the. This is why they don't have any of this right now because did I get everything. I got everything. Yeah, because there's a. So nobody wants to share their pet peeve. N nobody wants to share their pet peeves here. Another pet peeve. 
doing vaping in an area where there's no smoking and where it's obviously even more of a con for example there's a dude vaping in there like big old vape he must have some big ass lungs he must be a a saxophonist or a trumpet player cuz man that vaping that it, it almost was a smoke fire that was coming out plus if you're a grown ass man and if your vaping smells like strawberry man you need to go <laughs> okay I, i'm at the wrong place at the wrong time Oh man, that's nasty. Oh man, I would rather smell, I'd rather have skunk squirt into my nose than smell. All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm over here at MGM. I came over here at MGM. Hey, hey, hey. Because last time I went in that office, they had some food, like little bites, little, little, little something to eat. But not today because I think they don't have it displayed because it looks like. All these people with name tags, somehow they got access to that. And if they lay that out, it would just be gone constantly. So that's part of the, maybe the reason why they don't have it. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Pete, woman. <laughs> what up there? Appreciate the thumbs up. Yo, so Cal, I need to go to Cosmopolitan and do a slot session or something like that. So... Hang in there. You might have to pick a. You, you might have to help me pick a machine for me. Uh, I got to get over there and do that by seven or five. But at this point, I might head over there right now. I'm getting hungry. It's already almost six, so I might go eat afterwards, depending on the results of the slot session. Now, I might do my usual and just end up playing video poker because I'm sort of conservative trying to extract something out of the... It's a free play situation over at Cosmo that I think... Oh, so Cal, let me ask you a question, so Cal. So I got a random email giving me some free play from Cosmo, but it says it's going to expire in like 48 hours. I don't know how they know I'm still here. I did visit there a day ago, but they said, hey, you know, boom, 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 boom. Because I did a little session there a couple of nights ago or the night, two nights ago, or however you want to do the calculation. But I've never seen a free play offer like that that says, hey, it, it's good for two, 20, you know, 48 hours. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just imagine if, I, if I'm not here. <laughs> I, would, I would drive back. <laughs> they do that all the time at Cosmo. Oh, they do, huh? So SoCal. It, it, you know, because I'm not looking to play anything on top of that. Is it bad that I go utilize that and not play anything in addition to that? Or should I just leave it on the table? Will they offer that again? Is this something that's rotating or it really doesn't matter? Go play it right now and get rid of it? No, there's there's KFC. There's all kinds of food convention. And plus, Pizza Ex Expo is here. Pizza Expo. And there's another big old convention. I saw Google... I saw Uber, Uber Eats. There's a whole food convention, restaurant industry going on. Earlier on, when I was walking here, there's the AMC theaters. There's a whole thing going on. But the pizza convention, I wanted to go check that out. It's Pizza Expo. I got a good friend who's in the pizza industry. He told me he's not there today. He competes in the pizza tossing tournament. So I look up the tickets to potentially go check out Pizza Expo. And it's like $300 to go there. I'm like, ah, that's a little too sweet. A little too steep for me to go eat some pizza and check out the pizza industry. Yeah, 300 bucks, man. Maybe 150, maybe. For 300 bucks, I said, no, no, no. But it's a good place to go if I want to start a pizza business. It's a good kind of place to go to kind of check out the industry and get some inside information on equipment, procedures, method, recipe, and so forth and so forth. I mean, pizza is still pizza. It's pizza is still a, a money maker. Our grandma here, Selena, was saying, yeah, high fine dining, fine dining restaurant usually loses money. But on the other side of the spectrum, food like pizza usually do not lose money. You know what I mean? Pizza is a very high profit margin still to this day. Pizza is, you know, where the money's at in terms of good percentage of profit margin. But if he's talking an overall restaurant standpoint, man, sure, her voice is like, I hope I'm not as loud as I heard that, man. I'm like, she's, man, that voice carries. Hey, hey, hey. Um, use it up. It's good. Free, free play. They do that all the time. 
Use it up. It's a good free free play. Okay. If they paid me. Okay. All right. I'll use it up. Because I'm not looking to add anything to that. Any action. Because I'm leaving tomorrow. And I don't like to. I don't like to get involved the night before I leave. So my decision here is. Uh, it's either slots. Be committed to slots. Or play video poker. And extract the uh, free play out first. And then make a decision. But at that point. Since I made the decision. Not, okay, you know, we'll put it this way. I'm not going to game anything out of my pocket. Although I did put a $20 in earlier on the roulette machine randomly for uh, for our numbers. Our number, our YouTube channel, our numbers are uh, 21, 27, and 23. Because that's a triangle. Uh, Mud, he likes 23. Our grandma in here, she likes 27. I like 21. And that's the usual suspects that we started on playing together. So... The one take situation numbers officially are 21, 27, and 23. Hey, hey, hey. If they pay me, what up, Dare? Guys, say hello to Dare. I asked him, where are you from? You know, city or, you know, state. His answer was USA. What up, Dare? USA, USA. Hey, hey, hey. So, unfortunately, I left a little bit too late to go on this pool endeavor. And I think all the pools are pretty much closed right now. So, we'll just go hop over to, to uh, Cosmopolitan right now. Oh, South Carolina? Hey, hey, hey! North Carolina. My Gastonians got more two more tea bags. What you know about tea bags? Hey, hey, hey. I'll be right back. So, Cal, are you able to hang out a little bit? Because if you are, let's go see this free play action or this casino action or whatever, or kind of slot action if you're able to hang out a little bit. Yeah, I should go. Uh... What should be for dinner? I'm, you know, let me see where my battery level is, guys. Hang in there one second. Oh, let's keep it wired up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not our favorite. I'll, I will try. Gotta make, oh, chapagetti? Oh, really? Man, that actually sounds good, man. You're the last one who told me that the judging man picture last time. So when I went to go, I went to go eat Beijing number nine with uh, Mr. Hang Hang, one of our viewers here, and he was nice enough to, you know, hook it up with some uh, a dinner. I ordered uh, the Chinese version of Jajangmyeon at Beijing Number no. 9, and it's good over there. Beijing Number no. 9, their noodles are handmade, and uh, yeah, for what it is, I like Beijing Number no. 9. They do, I think they do a good job, and their Jajangmyeon over there, the Chinese version, tastes almost like Korean version. Because I remember last time we talked, you went to that Jajangmyeon place and showed me the picture of Jajangmyeon. I was like, oh man, that thing hits. I just don't get to eat that often these days because I, I just don't. It's a totally like Korean 1980s thing to do, the Chai Jimyeon. And, uh, damn, I forgot which ticket it was. Here we go. Throw all these out. Did you say Chapagetti? No, for, did you say what you wrote? Am I tripping? Chapagetti for dinner. I gotta make Chapagetti for dinner. <laughs> no, Chapagetti. Wait, that's different. 
Is chapaghetti not the like spaghetti with jajimyeon? Is that something different? Chapa, cha, 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 chapaghetti. My kid was oh, okay, got it. So it is what I'm thinking about, right? It's like jajimyeon. Jajangmyeon, jajangmyeon. All right, let's go. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Mr. Hang Hang for hanging out. Hang, hanging out. He's probably recovering right now, but uh, Mr. Hang Hang, yeah, we had a little adventure on the Vegas side. And uh, also we went to go eat Bacchanal. Picked out a little bit there. Although, you know, technically Mr. Hang Hang, I could eat more than that. That was, it was good, Bacchanal. Shout out. Hello. Thank you very much, Mr. Hang Hang. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, let's go. Leaving the parking lot. This is a real grand, big parking lot. You know, given the sort of size circumstance, it's pretty easy to understand here. I, I, you know, my last time in here was about three years ago. Yes, that to that it was probably maybe like 15 years ago coming to this parking lot. Or at least 13 years. Um, walk is not too bad. Now that I'm so used to walking in Vegas, the walking is not too bad. If you just kind of think of it as just getting some exercise and some steps in. Right when I said that, uh, so stop, we'll stop, stop, drop. Right, now exit this way. <clears throat> SoCal, if you hear me right now, is it better for me to go to Cosmopolitan right now or like an hour from now? Which one works better for you? Which you which one you would you have a better chance of Which one will you have a better chance of uh, checking out the uh, session? Same, same? Okay. All right. I'll just kind of see how I, where this drive takes me once I exit this. Let's see where it takes us. This is around 6 o'clock. Because the pools are all done. Oh, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. <coughs> Maybe grab a bite. You know what? Let's do the slots first and see, or the machine play, and see where uh, our dinner will end up. Because I do have to eat. You know, exit right. I can't exit there, my guy. You got you got roadblock there. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Exit, return to hotel. Exit to Coval. Let's exit hotel side. Let's see where this takes us. MGM Grand, what a, what a what an amazing property! Just to kind of run this, the operations behind this, just kind of, gosh, it must be complex. But uh, I have a MGM man, MGM. It's like a country almost, like the MGM, with different states. So the different states are different properties, and uh, I got a lot of feelings on MGM. I love MGM, but I, some of the stuff they. And because there's so much to disconnect since there's so many moving parts, they're, they're incapable of sometimes coming up the right assessment on their players. Okay, that's not exit. Where the hell am I going? Oh boy. Okay, you exit over there. All right, I'll shut the hell up for a second. Let me get out of here first.
I don't know. It's weird. I think the card, they see the card, but just the, uh, the machine, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know why it does. It's been doing this for about two, three months and I get different cards and then it always registers on the machines on the casino floor, but never in the parking lot for me. Uh, I don't want to say you pretty much never. But then when you push that button to call them, they don't. They, I think they know right away because it seems like it does register. They do see it. Just the machine doesn't kind of open up. All right, cool, cool. All right, enough. Okay, let's go over here. Hang on, guys. Let me get some of my stuff ready. And when I say my stuff ready, get my stuff ready. Whoa. I got some extra. All right, good job. <laughs> yeah. There, I say now. There, you always say it now. There is all about the now life, not the now and later life. Hang in there, guys. Oh, it's gonna piss them off if I catch up to them over there. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys. What do I feel like eating today? That's the question. Uh, I'm 95% sure I'm leaving tomorrow. 95%. So. Or I'm actually, you know, 4%. Probably leave, maybe leaving tonight. Maybe. At this point, is there a way to go from the like the rear? <laughs> is there a way to go from the rear? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, because man, there's gridlock going this way. I think I'm gonna go towards the uh, the rear entrance to New York, New York, unless there is a uh, there is a situation going on back there. Um, is there a hockey game? Maybe there's a hockey game. Because if that's the case, sometimes they block off the corridor in the back. Um, if there's a hockey game or some event at T-Mobile. They're making right turns here, left turn. Boom, 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 boom. Could we make a right turn here? No. Are they merging this way or is there no, no left turn or no right turn? Just merging here, help them in. Can make a right turn be easy. Oh, F1 causes so much traffic. Oh, F1. There's traffic all the time in Vegas. There's something going on all the time. Oh, F1. What up, guys? Enough. Hey, hey, hey. Asian food? I'm always down for Asian food, but uh, there's nothing that stands out. Maybe a buffet situation. In moments like this, either I like to go eat like, you know, something like a, like very spicy food, like Korean food, Mexican food, something, a lot of spice, kind of wake up the, you know, the, the palate, the taste buds, wake it up a little bit, shock it. Or in Vegas, like a buffet situation where you just sit there and just eat whatever you want and kind of go around the, around the mound. But then that poses which buffet? Um, maybe an Asian buffet? If, if there's an Asian buffet, I used to like this place called Imperial Seafood Palace or Imperial something, which is a buffet place. It's like 50 bucks. No, no, it was actually like 35, 40 bucks. 
for like you know Chinese style Cantonese lobsters and this and this and that. But I went there about a year and a year ago, and their quality like drastically dropped down from the when when they first opened, which was like about a year and a half, about two years ago now. No, you know what? Damn, it's two thousand twenty four, right? The first time I went there was around this time in two thousand twenty. When they that's when they first opened during the pandemic, and their food was ridiculously good, and at that time it was like maybe thirty bucks for seafood. They give you a little discount if you checked in on Yelp or something like that. I forgot what it was, but man, I was so it was like one of the best thirty dollar buffets I ever had, and it included Cantonese style uh, lobster. But I went there about a year ago ish with uh, our friends here, Katrina. Skittles and Skittles and Trina went with them, and it was nowhere near close. Although their fish was still good, they have this steamed fish dish that was oh man, that's you know that Chinese style where there's a little bit of soy sauce sauce, but it's like steamed and it just oh that thing was still good. But everything else was like oh geez, it was still decent for standards, normal standards, but nowhere close to what it used to be when they first uh, when I first went there. I think it's called Imperial Seafood or something like that. Cool story, cool story. All right, cool story. Um, so on that front, nothing is kicking in. Let me see if I have any. Uh, let me see any any uh, food offers around here. Uh, there's a food offer over at some couple places, but you know nowhere where it's going to be worthwhile going there at this point. Cause I want to get the wipe off the food off. And, and what time is six o'clock? Damn, it's March twentieth. So I felt like I was gonna come here at the end of the month, but it seems like I'll be back in April, if that in April. I might, I might come back in April, but for sure in June. I mean, I'll, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to in June. Trying to work this out, do the mathematics. Is there anything I should try out here that I won't? I won't be able to see in a while where I could do some actually get some content out of it. Uh, you know what? All you can eat sushi. I haven't done in, that in a while. That sounds tasty to me right now too. All you, all you can eat sushi. Maybe that might be the move. Maybe all you can eat because I it's it's a Vegas thing to do. And you know, all you can eat sushi and all you can eat Korean barbecue in Vegas is like, <laughs> it's you can't get I can't get that in Los Angeles. Although I think there's this one new spot. That's all you can eat sushi. That's kind of kind of good, good they say. But again, it's all you can eat sushi. The, the quality out here, it's it's almost on par with Nobu at uh, Caesars or at Paris. So, you know, just put that in perspective. At least those spots. There's some independent sushi spot that's out here, that's exceptional. But of, but of course, those gonna run. That's gonna run me at least like two hundred bucks at least, and I don't come out feeling full. You know what I mean? And you know I'm in Vegas. I want to come out at least feeling full. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go to Cosmo. Cosmo it is. Let's go to Cosmo. And and do the free play action or the slot play action first. And there, that's the pool here. This is a Boulevard Tower, guys. This is the Boulevard Tower, the skinnier one and the one that's closer to the strip. The other tower, the the Chelsea Tower, is the wider one. And uh, before, I've always preferred the Boulevard Tower here, always. Okay, but now today, I prefer the Chelsea Tower for two fronts. One of them, you have a better angle proposition towards the towards the spear, which is the spears on that side, because from here, the Eiffel Tower blocks the view of the of, of the spear for the, a lot of these rooms, right? Looking towards that way, towards the Bellagio Fountain. But from the Chelsea Tower, you have a better shot at the angle towards the spear, which is a cool view from up there. By the way, Chelsea, I mean, Cosmo, their rooms, view proposition, being on the terrace, unbeatable. It's the best. And uh, at least before MGM's full takeover, although I've been seeing some down marks now that MGM is operating this. Uh, but from the Chelsea Tower, you get to see that angle. Now, the second leg that's fully convincing me that Chelsea is better for me is now because of the bridge that connects Cosmo to Bellagio and Aria. Because of that bridge connectivity, which is on the Chelsea side, now it's a no-brainer for me. Whenever I check in there now, I will ask for the Chelsea Tower. 
the way I'll ask is I would like to have the Bellagio Fountain View. And they go, you know, we only have Bellagio Fountain View in the Boulevard Tower, not the Chelsea Tower. Then if that's the case, I'll take the Boulevard Tower. And only if that's the case. But if, or I'll shut up. I, get, I think you get what I'm saying. That's the only case where I'll take the boulevard, where if it's, uh, this one's the only available Bellagio view or fountain view. And all these Cosmo videos, you know, I'll, I'll, hopefully I get to turn them out soon. I you know, was aiming to start turning them, them out right now, getting ready for the, uh, the pool season. And you know, because there's gonna be a lot of Bellagio people looking for cosmopolitan information. And, uh, and 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 vice versa, I guess technically, but more so the Bellagio people, MGM people, they don't fully know no Cosmopolitan till this day, because it was like a boutique independent hotel. Especially the different room types, this and this and that. It just sounds complicated, but it's it's not if you really break it down. So just uh, if you're interested in the Cosmopolitan coming up soon, I will be uh, turning those videos out pretty soon. So if you're brand new in here and wondering what's going on, first of all, right now, absolutely nothing. Our pool session is done. All the punch clothes, the ones I intend to go to right now, they're shut down pretty much at 5 p.m. for now. So the tongue might be a little misleading, but it is what it is. You should know by now. Hey, hey, hey. So right now, some, uh, some slats or some something machine related. Just... Uh, all right, I'll shut up for a second. We're entering here, Cosmopolitan. I have the, someone's honking. I don't know where the honking has come from. Good old classic Cosmopolitan entry point here. Just beautiful how Cosmopolitan was able to maximize their space here with the little limited space that they had to build this whole thing. Just a beautiful, remarkable arrangement and just configuration and planning and every little thing that they did. It's like Bobby Brown said, every little, all right, I'll shut up. All these conventions, taxis, I'll take to the left. Thank you very much. Comes <laughs> All I think the only person I amuse the most is myself. I don't know what that tells me about me or tells you guys about me. Uh, but if you have an idea what this actually means why i do this and uh, why it amuses me so much let me know tell me man be my psychologist be my mental breakdownist let me know because I, I don't even know i I've always wondered is this form of narcissism is that what it is is that what it is let me know please <laughs> All right, hang in there, guys. I got to do some something here. And by the way, uh, this parking situation, now that MGM's here, you got to pay for parking even if you're a guest. Which is a total MGM thing to do, not a cosmopolitan thing to do, because they used to do all the little stuff. For example, not charge you for parking, you know, indirectly for being a hotel guest. These charges, you know, they always charge you indirectly or directly, ah, you know what? That's not making sense. I'd rather them charge me. Uh, some things I want indirect, not direct. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the only component Boulevard is good as far as if you like, want to be closer to the, the strip, the walk to the strip. And uh, if you want to be closer to the, to the casinos, casino action, it's a little bit more louder and bolder on that other side. So if I compare it to Bellagio, the Boulevard Tower, I compare it to the the main building you know the main uh the tower the big one at bellagio and the chelsea tower more subdued quieter away from the casino uh non-smoking 100 percent non-smoking let me take that back anyways that one i uh, compare to the to the spa tower over at bellagio which is away from the casinos all right cool story cool story man I wish, I wonder if and ever if Cosmopolitan will serve dinner for buffet because they're only breakfast and brunch for now. But my anticipation on this prediction ish, this guy is just, just not looking. Yeah. My, 
my anticipation on this is, especially with the bridge that it's connecting now. Hang on there, guys. Now that bridge that connects Cosmo to Bellagio to Aria, that entry point is right near Wicked Spoon, the buffet over here at Cosmopolitan. Now I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking Bellagio, their buffet is gonna be done, like done. They're gonna build a food court there, or maybe some other venue, maybe a nightclub. Who knows? Because it seems like Bellagio wants to be more of a young, hip place now. It's loud over there now with like loud music and it's annoying because I go to Bellagio because I don't want that. But now it's loud. They got Bruno Mars Club or that little lounge being loud. It's crazy. I don't like it. But either case, I think they will shut down the buffet space over at Bellagio and convert that into a food hall where they have different various mid-tier restaurants, casual eats, which they don't have right now. And they'll push the Wicked Spoon Buffet and combine forces, and that'll be their new buffet spot where they're also open for dinner. And I think they might start charging maybe $150 there and have a more elevated experience than uh, Bacchanal. I think that might be the move for MGM. If you agree with that, comment below, let me know. Because I think that might be the money move. Especially with that buffet over at M, M Hotel, where they have that $100 buffet with, you know, some mo more of the lobster situation, this and that. Whatever that is, maybe step it up a little bit more notch, but you offer it at Wicked Spoon. They might change the name as Wicked, I don't know what they'll do, but that space, maybe charge $175, $150 mark. And then push that for nighttime. Maybe for breakfast and brunch, they'll still, they should still offer an approachable price in the fifty dollar range, and do what they're doing at Wicked Spoon right now. But during night, elevate that up, charge hundred fifty, and just go all the way in. But either way, I think the uh, the buffet over at the Bellagio is done. That space is going to be done. So there's no reason why they need to operate two of them nearby. I mean, is Bellagio Buffet open at night? I don't think they're even open for dinner either. No dinner service there anyways, right? They're not open for dinner service. Okay, I'll shut up. Just put this in my pocket. You know, let this run a little bit, right? I like the quiet tower. The Chelsea Tower, yeah. You were up there, right? You had a very nice view proposition from that side, especially if you want to see the spear. Because, you know, spear is, spear is there, so might as well see the whole better view of the spear versus it, like, being blocked off. From the... All right, I'll shut up. Hang on there, guys. I got to set this one as another one and keep it moving. Okay. So I got, I, I don't know how to, do I load up the card or I don't know what to do here. We'll figure this out. Hey, 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 hey. It's Bellagio. Last time I had Bellagio Buffet was maybe 2013. Bellagio Buffet. Um, and I don't think they're open at night. Cool story, cool story. I'm going to show you a little, I showed it yesterday, but show you actual physical changes on the casino floor that tells you that Cosmopolitan, they're out. It's got MGM has taken over. Like a couple of design cues and the little casino floor spacing, totally MGM up there. Uh, just they're trying to maximize those little chill out spots and putting in uh, slot machines in there, trying to maximize their uh, floor space for the money makers. Right here, right here. Come on, man. Can you, can you? I'm not interested. Drop it down. 
Now I could usually I do this on th all, all my three devices and just get it out of the way, but now there's only one available. I gotta set this one and <coughs> <coughs> coughing <coughs> into the elbow, huh? No. Cool. Did I get a little charge? I think I got a little charge. All right. Hey, uh, so Cal, if you're still in here, since you're a slot expert, can you share with us what you're on a slot machine, let's say, what should be your average slot bet in relation to your bankroll for that session? Let's say you have one session, one bankroll. Okay. Let's say you have one session, one bankroll. Let's say your bankroll, you put a number there, easy number. Would it be $1,000, easy number? Let's just say $1,000, easy number. What should your... Uh, size of your bet per slot pull what do you think let let me know on that one what the good ratio is but i want to be on a little bit aggressive side say again okay so count Let's say, let's say you have a thousand dollars, let's just say a thousand dollar bankroll for one session and one session only for slots. What should your uh, average bed size be for a thousand dollar bankroll? If you're going to play slots, but a little bit on the aggressive side, just like you want to go a little bit aggressive. like what I play I, okay so I guess you're saying it depends on the game but like what's the ratio of your bet like should I bet you know if you're if it's a thousand dollar bankroll do you bet a hundred dollars uh, uh, for the slot what's a good ratio to play with because obviously it's not gonna be a hundred dollar a pull if it's only a thousand dollar bankroll right I'd say I'd say 10 250 $25 spins, depending on playback. Playback. Ugh, I don't know what that means. Okay. So, 10 250 $25. Okay. Gotcha. Because the way I believe is you got to play almost max bet on a machine. So, I got to find the machine that matches up, right? Okay. All right, let's go. I'm going to ask you as I go. No? Okay. I'm gonna ask you as I go. Let's keep it keep it moving as we go. Let me take a water bottle there. If you get a little action, then up it. If you get a little action, up it. Meaning if you get a little uh if, if you're a little up. And then stay on the same machine, or you gotta. You, I guess the art is you gotta move around on the machine. Is that the art? Versus just. Okay, we'll figure this one step at a time. Let's go take care of this. I don't think it's gonna take that long. Should be less than about thirty. I'm I'm seeing maybe a thirty minute session here, right? Unless I end up playing video poker. Hey hey hey. If you get a little action, up it up. Okay. Let's unlock this here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Come on, man. The, man, you gotta get your act together. You should, you should know by now what's what, which wire this is. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, hey, hey. Nothing. What's wrong with you? Nothing, man. What's wrong with you? Whip it out. It's also, it's also game dependent. Just go by feel and luck. You, you know, if I go instincts, 
I, I don't know about the luck component for me. I don't really calculate luck into anything for the most part. I calculate just uh, if I go with feeling, man. I'm going in there, you know, the, the biggest bet. If I, if I have a thousand dollars to play on the slot, and if I have to play the slot, I'll go bet a hundred dollars a hand and go for the go for the home run. <laughs> I think I don't know. I'm not a slot. I'm not a slot dude. Oh, you know the only game I play with. You know what? You know you, you hit it on buzzing. I want to go play that Invaders of the Moolah. That's the only game I play because it's an easy bet there because it's three seventy five bet and nothing more. It's it's a very easy bet for me to do because I know the maximum bet is three seventy five. It clearly tells you what that bet is because some of these other slot games, it's like so many lines, so many other things. It's like what is the max bet? Just clearly tell me what the max bet is. And it's confusing for me to figure out because, you know, it's like so many lines, so many this and this and that. But at least with the Planet of the Moolah, I like the game. First of all, it's fun to play. But second of all, I know it's clearly fine. The max bet is 375 And, you know, for a max bet, that's a very friendly price for me. It's not $20. It's not $40. It's not $20. 375 and it's clearly defined for me. That is the max bet. Hey, hey, hey. So that's a good advice. I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna go play that. Start with that machine. Okay, that was a good advice right there. So that's what I'm gonna go first and see how it rolls from there. Uh, because you know what, we're trying to have some fun here. Usually, I'll go to the video poker. I'll do the video poker. Get the get the money out. You know what? I guess technically I could do that. Okay, our bankroll will be the money I get out of the video poker. Let's go pl play video poker first. Okay, let's play the video poker first. I, I gotta hit the restroom again, <laughs> guys. All right, gotta meet you up, guys. Hang in there. Hey, there's a lot of buff dudes here. Is there a buff dude convention? Like, the amount of buff dudes that walked in out right now, like, you know, like, you know, meatheads. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, that's a respect to the meatheads. Uh, like, you know, those, like, you ever play the game Double Dragon? 
like that body type. I just saw like eight, ten of them like going in and out of that bathroom. Maybe that's only a a, a double dragon. All right, I'll shut up. Hey, hang in there. Hey, hey, hey. You're at 420. Do you not care about six? No, I do care about six hours. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Yes. 420. Thank you. Guys, hang in there. One second. Three-year-old machines are good too. My favorite is pinball. Double gold, top dollar. Yeah, so Cal, those are all the ones that I've been eyeing a little bit because I see that most on the... It's just like that. Although I don't see his videos anymore. It doesn't populate on my on my feeds. It's just like that. I know pinball. Let's probably all play pinball. And... So, the approach here is... Do I start off with, I'm gonna go see where some of these guys, cause uh, I wanna find a machine where I know it has the best odds of video poker. And to find that, I go to an area where I know I see veterans playing. Cause I know these veterans, I know those are the machines that are the most best payouts, at least on this property. And I think I found one who, he looks like a video poker guy. Cause then from then, I'll say that is still considered free play with the cash I have. Then we could go have option of playing the video uh, background, and could use, we could have some maneuverability off that. So let's let's. This is my, all right, let's. I'll shut the hell up. Uh, I don't know. I, I like to. I don't know how to play these uh, complicated ones. Like I, I let's go on this corner here, and let me see how this. Because the I I go just play jacks are better. But let's see. Oh no, this is this is not a good payout, right? It's got to be sixty-five, two dollars. Oh yeah, this is not good. But I don't think you can find a sixty-five anyways here, right? Sixty-five table or uh, no, no, sorry, nine to six, full house to flush. Nine to six is best or better. So let's find a video poker session. This is two dollars a hand. 
Even if it's a dollar, how much is it? Okay, same pay scale. And let's go with some of these bonus ones. I don't know how to go. More games. What's the bonus one that pays a lot for for uh, quads? Is that, uh, I forgot, that, where's Mud? I need Mud. Mud's the one who told us, go play. Is it Super Double Spawn of Poker? Is it this one? Oh, damn, what is this? That's a lot. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Yes, it's these right here, huh? But it pays six to five. The only thing that doesn't pay better is these things here. So let's go for the home run, right, guys? Yeah, the quads is what we want, right? The quads. Four races. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is also, whoa, this is, what the hell, what the hell? You got to get a three of a kind to make anything? Get your money back, huh? Whoa, whoa, these are too wild. Hold up, guys. That's too wild. So what did I see here? Jacks are better. I think this is the game here, huh? All right, let's go with this game here. I don't know how to load this up. Wow. Really? Huh. So it's point play. Hey, 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 what up, guys? We're at Cosmo Pop. I'm sorry, the process because you cannot perform at this time. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why not? Why not? Try it again. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Account. Is it point play or identity play? What's the difference here? Oh. <laughs> so here we go. Activate. Okay, so let's do it, guys. What up, guys? So, what do you, you bet? What was it, this? We're going for the home run? We're betting for this, huh? Okay, so do I have to put money in here, or what do I need to do? I don't have any credits. Okay. I, oh, I got to put some cash in here, right? Okay, I gotta start it off. I gotta kickstart it with the uh, five dollars in here of my pocket, huh? 
the, the cool part about Caesars is you don't have to do this at Caesars, like Kickstarter with anything. Yeah, you, you kind of have to kickstart it with here. Okay. Now, what up, guys? Five? Yeah. Here we go. Hold the AK. Oh, hang on, guys. Battery is low. I'm gonna change it up. Hey, hey, hey! Can you hear me? Microphone good. I had to switch up the ears. I had to switch up the ears. And let's go. So. Jackson better, that was nothing, right? Oh, we got kings. We held the kings, so it gives you money back or you don't make a profit on that, right? It gives you money back. We're playing for quads here, basically, right? And I don't think I've ever got a quads playing video poker before. Okay, so getting your money back is good because we're just trying to extract cash out of this free play situation, guys. Boom. So we want to keep these. If you have any some guys, let me know if the audio is good. I want to be needing your help here sometimes. I hope I'm playing the right game. Where's mud when I need mud? Mud. Hopefully I picked the right game here. It's sort of a, a bonus situation where you get so two pairs doesn't do anything. We're going for the uh, the the quads basically, or else it's a lost cause. Okay. All right, we got a full house here, guys. Full house. So full house doesn't really pay anything. So do we just keep the nines and go for a quad nine? Because a full house really doesn't pay anything good. A triple. Wait, what does a triple pay? A uh, three of a kind will pay three. So with the full house, it's paying a little bit a uh, double, but it doesn't get. But if you get a, uh, what is it? If you get a triple for four or five through ten, it'll give you fifty times. So I'm gonna go for the. Uh, someone let me know. Do I keep the full house or go for the uh, the triple? I mean the quads. My mind is telling me go for the quads. Let go of the full house there with the pay scale. Because uh, five through king squads, it'll pay me 50. So five times five, how much is that? I don't know. 250? Versus getting paid. Full house would be, how much is full house? Six, 30 bucks. So triple is 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 bucks. All right, I'll do whatever I do, guys. This might be a donkey move here, but I feel like in a game like this, you kind of have to go for the... Okay. So we lost the full house, and we risked it on three of a kind. Oh, oh I take the boat? Well, too late now. <laughs> so I got paid 15 versus $30 there with the risk of going for 250 Oh, hey in there. I gotta put you on a... Oh, sorry about the glare right there. A little glare situation, huh? Is this better or... Yeah, I'm right at the glare. Staying on all. Staying on all? What the hell does that mean? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, keep these two. Is that good enough? Yeah, the approach on this is different from the uh, the regular video poker, right? Uh, we'll keep the flush draw. That's not really a draw, but 
or do I keep keep the queen? Really, it doesn't matter if I keep the queen, right? So we want a shot at uh, at least a three of a kind here, because nothing really pays until you get three of a kind. All right, I think this is the right move. I think. Do -do 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 -do. So do I keep these? So this is where I get confused. Do I just keep the two fours? Oh, obviously you gotta keep that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Now, do I have to keep the small card? Does it doesn't matter if you keep the small card or not. Or do I just go for the four aces first? No, no, no. Hold up. Time out, guys. So those are fours. Okay, I don't think it matters. Let me see. Four with aces. Okay. That pays more. Substantially more. So, no. Yeah, that's hard to do, huh? Just keep the two fours. And let that be an X factor, right? That's too hard. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's play this. What up there? Okay, so on this one, because of this pay structure, just I was thinking about keeping the three to have a you know higher payout, but just let's just keep this for now and hope that a low card comes out as a fifth card. Is that the right move? Give me a thumbs up. I won't make this move until I get clarity on this. But my intuition tells me that's the play. Yes? All right. Yes. Ooh. Okay, nothing came out. Cool. Let's go. Five, three. Keep the queen. Basically... You just trying to. I'm just trying to extract money. So jack or better. So just keep that. We want a queen or something. We want at least to keep our money. There we go. Extraction. We're not winning money, but we're extracting money out of the free play. All right. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Now this is tricky. Do I go for the straight? Ah, this is so confusing. With this strategy, it's sort of confusing. Yo, there, what card do I hold here for this uh, double bonus video poker that I'm playing? Do I just keep the ace? Four aces. What card should I hold here, Dave? The payout. Here, here, here. Our goal is to hit the... These two? Why do we keep the 10, though? I'm confused on that one. What's the point of the 10? Because I don't... What's the point of the 10? Just wondering. On this game... Oh, snaps. I pushed the wrong button. Ah, snaps. Oh, geez. My bag pushed the buttons here. Jeez. So I killed all those hands. All right, so we don't have to worry about it. My bag pushed all those hands. What if we would have got a four of a kind because my bag pushed the hands? That would be great, huh? Uh, I, I messed that up, guys. Okay, jacks are better. So this is where we want to go, right? This is where we want to go. The aces, we want a couple aces to come out here, right? Jacks are better, okay. Oh, we're gonna go for the full house there? I think we, full house only pays, okay. Full house only pays. AK Queen, full, no. I don't know about that. 
two, three, four, five. Yeah, th these, you know what? I don't think this is the game to play if I want to extract money out of here. This is not the game, maybe, huh? Because uh, right now I'm, I'm being, I'm stuck here again. Two, three, four, five. You're going for a six straight. You can't, I can't always shoot for the triple. So, you know what? Let's give it a try. This is a lost cause. I might just throw this hand out, but like a hand like this, am I supposed to go for this or just throw the whole, everything out? Oh, I got the straight. No, no, no. I got the, uh, wait, I need an ace. Wait, what the hell was I trying to do there? Two, three, four, five. Oh, double ended. Okay, that was a good move. That was double ended. All right. Uh, King Queen, I think you just keep these two and call it a day. Or you go for the jack straight. No, just call this and call it a day. Okay, we're just trying to extract money. A royal flush. Keep the king there, right? Sorry for the glare. I don't know what to do with this glare. Is this better? Like, yeah, maybe this is better. King. You know, I might just go play slots, man. This is a... Uh... Or play my usual video poker game, the conservative one. Because that one actually, you make a profit on a two pair. But you don't make any profit here off a two pair. Absolutely nothing. Uh, one, two, three. All right. This is dry right now. Very dry. I guess you got to go for these two. Very dry right now. Very dry. Jacks are better. Aces. Should I keep the three or let it let it let it slide? Keep the three or let it slide. You know, let's just let it slide. The two pair, two pair again. There's no profit there. We're just extracting. That's the that's the price we pay. Boom, boom. Hey, 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 what up, guys? Should we go for the flush, huh? The flush pays. Flush will pay $25. We need a flush. We're dry for the last five hands or so. Uh, we got the flush. Okay. So that made up a little dry spell. And uh, let's go. Two pair. Again, two pair really doesn't do anything, right? So do I go for the four of a kind or keep the money? Yeah, keeping the money, full house really doesn't pay anything here. I'm going lucky eight. I'm risking the, yeah, because I see the lucky eight. I just want to keep the lucky eight. Does that make sense? Because I don't, full house really doesn't generate anything to me. Wait, hold on, flush. It's twenty five dollars for love flush. Should I just keep the eights and let, let the fives go? Because I feel luckier with the eights. I feel luckier with the eights. Uh, fives through kings. Because SoCal said go with your luck a little bit, right? And my answer was I don't rely on luck. Well, let's try luck on this one. Because I. I Okay, that was a wash. But again, we just lost one unit there because two pair only pays one unit. Another flush situation. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I want to try this flush one more time as a donkey because we, we have the spade flush there. Let's try one more time. Okay, that's a donkey move right there. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, we just want to extract some something here. Nothing there. A little dry spell here. 
And uh, two, three, four, five. We'll just keep this and keep it moving, huh? Four, five, six, ace. Keep these for the royal, possible. And then we just want to extract something here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we extracted. That was a good one. We extracted. Remember, the intent here is to extract or go four of a kind. Those are the two extremes that we want. I feel like. But if you feel any different here, if there's something I'm not seeing, please let me know. Did I? Why is that? Oh, Jax, yeah. So my angle for this is extract money as much as possible from the free play or go for the four of a kind. Nothing in the middle. Eight, four, so we'll just keep the jacks or better, just to hopefully do that, nothing. Two, five, six, seven, okay, let's just keep that. I see diamonds though, but I said just one time, we're not gonna go for those diamonds, unless it was a connected diamond, then we might go for some kind of a, of a straight flush, but we'll just keep the king. All right, two, two, four, one, two, three, four, let's just, Go for jacks or better here. All right, we got the jacks or better. And uh, what do we got here? Double fives. Let's hold the double fives and let's go for it. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. We have a three of a kind. That's a good little thing. If three of a kind paid 15 bucks for this, which is, uh, again, this is bonus action here. Jacks are better. Where are you at? So we're at a good position here. We'll take the jacks. And the other ones, I just, I'll just let go. Hope for two jacks to come out. Let's go, jack offs. Let's go. Three, two, one, jack offs. Nope. So, so far, we've extracted 100. And we have 290 left. So we're not, we're not too far off from extracting. Let me see here. I see a lot of reds. It's all reds, pretty much. Diamond, these are diamond in the rough right here. Potential diamond straight. <clears throat> what are the chances of you hitting a diamond with six? I mean, it's a, it's basically a whole bunch of gaps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need a, <laughs> we need an eight, ten diamond, huh? What are the chances of hitting that? What's a, what's a straight flush? Oh, straight flush paces a little bit. We're not hitting straight flush on this. Absolutely not, right? But maybe we'll hit a flush. Okay, almost. Almost a flush. Hey, hey, hey. I'm here to gamble, guys. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just throw all this out. Throw it out. Yeah, throw, this, throw it all out, huh? We're not getting a six here. Throw it all out. Okay. Ace King, let's go for the Royal Flush. Give it to us. <laughs> okay, three of a kind right here. Where's the three of a kind? We see fours. We see fours. Did I keep the low card or no? That's where it throws me off. No, no, we need two chances, huh? At a four of a kind. That's the right move. Don't keep the two or do I keep the two? That's the question right now. Do I keep the two or no? I feel like I, I don't keep the two. What's the price differential? Four of a kind with twos. Price differential is substantial. Four... Price differential, four fours. It looks substantial difference. I don't know. I can't even see these with my eyes. Getting quads, more important than kicker. No two? All right. Fair enough. I'm here to, yeah, again, I'm, I want to play a little aggressive, but that makes more sense. Just want to get your feedback before I do it. Okay. Three of a kind. We got some extraction there. And uh, boom, boom, boom. With this, do I just keep the uh, 
Huh. These two? My mind is on the flush parameter, but that's asking for too much again, huh? Okay, that, yeah, yeah. That's, she acts for better. Two queens. No kicker needed. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Three of a kind. Hey, hey, hey. And the two eights, and that's the number I was looking for earlier. So let's go. We want to get four eights. We got three eights, okay? The eights are looking good today. Two jack, two jack offs. Do you keep all three jacks? Or do you? So in this situation, do I keep all the face cards or just two out of the three face cards? Do I just keep these two or all three or just... I forgot how to play this one, this scenario. Remind me if you can, one of you. In this situation, do I keep just two face cards or all three? Jacks are better. Sorry about this glare, guys. No, no one. Okay, I can't wait forever, but I guess there's a lag here of some sort. Let's uh. I see some hearts. I see a two. Let's just, we can't go for hearts and, and draws all the time. So let's just try to extract some money. Oh, that might have been, uh, that might have been all hearts there, right? Maybe. Jacks are better. Kings are good. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Fives. I got five on it. That looks good enough. Twos. Twos, that would be ideal. Three, seven, nothing, absolutely nothing. Just keep that. Get a Jackson better. And uh, the same situation here. These two? Oh, do we go for the Royal Flush here? You know what? That might be a donkey move, but at this point, I think eight is a thing to go. Come on, guys. Hey, hey, hey. This is junk. Keep these two. Jacks are better. That's good. Again, a jack of queen this side. I don't see anything here. We're good to go. All right, three of a kind. Hey, hey, hey. We hit all three of a kind right there. Wow. And uh, same situation. These are junk. Keep this, keep that, and keep it moving, huh? What do you think? And then do it again. Ace, king, double fours. Let's go. Fours. That's a Jerry West. If you have one four, it's Byron Scott. Let's go another four, four, and we'll be good. Hey, hey, hey. We have a three of a kind, but not four of a kind. It's all good. Nine. Let's go Nick Van Exel. Double nine. That's Aaron... Aaron uh, Donald, who just retired. Congratulations to him. St. Louis, LA Rams. Oh, no, he's from Pittsburgh. Not my bad. Aaron, Do Aaron Donald is from Pittsburgh. LA Rams, thank you for your service. One of the greatest of all time. Hey, hey, hey. We have a three of a kind there. Nine, nine, nine. Let's go. Five, seven, eight, nine. Just throw all that out. Let's get the king in the middle. Let's go, king in the middle. All right, king in the middle, nothing. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, just kidding. Just kidding is good enough. Jacks are better, that's good. Little extraction there. And I see a lot of situation here. Do I go for the royal flush and drop that out, or do I keep that? Now, that's the question. You know, I'm not going to even ask. A flush is not even worth it with this payout. What do you think, guys? You know what, let's just... 
damn, did, was that, what was that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. I might have played that wrong, but that's okay. Um, this is just, we're just, we're just uh, trying to go for the home run a little bit. A little bit more aggressive, not so assertive, but tens. Let's go, four tens, how nice would that be? I don't know, I don't see too many dimes these days. Two pair, we'll take that. Just like LL Cool J said, at least two pairs. Boom, boom, boom. I see twos, not the flush. We're calling for quads. I think this is the move, I think. It's gotta be the move, right? All right two pair, that's good. We're extracting money. And I, I'm seeing these double eights. I'm seeing the eights here. It would be nice if it's eight, 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 eight. Let's go. Have you ate? No, not yet. Hey, hey, hey. Have you eaten or have you ate? Which one do you prefer to say? Have you ate or have you eaten? Have you ate? Hey, hey, hey. Eight, nine, ten. Jacks are better. Easy money here. At least extraction would be nice. I see Royal Flush, but you can't go for Royal Flush right there, right? Yeah, well, ugh, oh, I hate to, you can't play donkey too much, right? 5-5 five, five on the edges on the bookend here. 5 king, let it go. Getting quads is more quicker. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, for sure, without hitting the bonus, you're definitely extracting less money than the conservative poker. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I might have to just, uh, at this point, just, you might have to just two pair. Yes, because two pair doesn't give you any profit. It just gives you money back. I see a lot of diamonds. Diamonds really does not do anything right now. Let's push that. No, no, I see diamonds there. Okay. Okay, no diamonds in the sky. More eights, guys. More eights. Let's go eights. Let's go. No. Sevens. Let's go seven. Nope. This one. This one. No, I see the nines. Hey, hey, hey. Wait. What did I hit? Did I hit something? I hit something, guys. I hit something. I hit the nines. Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald. I think I hit my first quads ever. I think so. Yeah, my first quads. We extracted some money. My first quads. I think was, I give shout out to Aaron Donald. I think that's why, huh? We hit quads here. We got some money. We, we extracted some money here. Hey, hey, hey. So we accomplished our goal here. And I'll play a few more hands and then see where we go. But we hit something. Okay, so we made it, we extracted more than our input and we still have some left in there, some tank. So with that, I'll shut the hell up for a second and let's play a few more hands, see how it goes. So th did the money come out? Everything's good? Held it, held it. So what did that pay? Did the kicker matter or not? No, I don't think kicker matters once you get into the high parameters, right? No, that paid 250? Okay, not bad. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to back nines, baby. Let's go back to back nines. Let's go. Can we do that? Back to back nines. Let's go. Aaron Donald. Oh man, almost. We got we, so back to back nines, baby. Hey, hey, hey. All right. I'll settle down. Settle down, Beavis. Two, three, four. Keep the end. Let's extract more money here. Uh, right even. Extract more money. And we have about that more to play with. And uh, here, what do we do here? Threes. And let's go. Three is, you know... <laughs> Three times three squared is nine. So come on, let's go three square. Let's go threes. Let's go threes. Let's go. Okay. 
two pair. You know what? I'm just keeping eights here, guys. I'm just going all the way with this. I don't care what you say. I'm going all the way with eights. Okay, so I got the two pair anyway. So it, even down there, we got extracted money there. So it would have been almost the same thing. You know, we're in Vegas. I'm just, just trying to extract something. 10, 6, 9. 9, 10, Jack, Queen. Open ended straight, right? That's the move? I think that's the move. Or do I pull this off? Yeah, that's the move. Open ended straight. Let's go. No, double nines. Oh, just uh, AK, 775. So just take these two, let everything go, and let it flow. Hey, hey, hey. AJ, 652. Just keep the AJ and let it go. Jacks of butter. That's good. Every little extraction counts. Hey, hey, hey. Every little extraction counts. Why don't you take that out? Da, da, da. We're good. King, hold. Two pairs. All right. I guess no one's watching on. Yeah, I don't see any comments. Yeah, someone had a comment on the quads, right? No? All uh, right, let me check my other phone. Maybe the, uh, unless, I don't see any comments. Or maybe no one's watching. I don't know. Let me, let me double check. So held that, cheap pair. Deal, quads, sevens, just keep those two. Jacks are better, keep the kings. Oh. Oh, okay. What, no one saw the quads? <laughs> you got Tom Vu, the only car Connor I was talking. What up, Con what up, Con man? Hey, hey, hey. Draw. Deal this out. Diamonds. Oh, that was Max already? Oh, jeez. What up, Tom Vu? How are you, Tom Vu? AK. I see those. I'll keep the AJ. Jacks are better, good enough. Oh, uh, boom, 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 how did it deal this? Uh, A, two, four, two, two, three, four, kick the ace. Deal this, A, J, K. Hey, does he keep all the face cards? Or do you keep the, uh, I'm quite not sure how to play this when you have three face cards. One, two, three, four, five, keep the ace. Four, five, six, get the ace. 
Jacks are better. All right, a couple more hands here. We're, we're almost done with this here. Let's go for the Royal. Give us the Royal here. Seven, eight, nine, still put king. That's good enough. Draw it up. So, uh, double, I see eights again, guys. Eights. I'll show you the eights are wild again. Eights are showing up. Eights. Oh. Eights are showing up again. No, two pair? Okay, two pair doesn't pay anything. Fives. Five. Let's go. Okay. A couple more hands. I think we'd be good to go. Three, four, five. This is all jump cards, right? Throw it all out. I don't see anything here. Throw it all throw it all out, my man. Unless if there's an eight, I would keep an eight if there's an eight. But just for the hell of it, I wanna keep the lowest card to give it a shot with something. Four aces, three flush. Four, two, three, four. You know, three hit the um, three. Let me see. Four, two, sorry, three. I'm gonna keep the three because three was a number that the roulette table hit earlier, so that might be a sign. I'm gonna just keep the three, hoping for a three of a kind, maybe three of a kind, but three. Nothing. Well, one came out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Couple more hands, we're done here. Couple more hands. We'll keep the aces without the faces. Aces, let's go. Jacks are better, that's good. We have a couple more. Couple more to swing here. Three, four, and we'll keep the uh, jack. Draw that out. And a uh, couple more hands. I see a lot of blacks here. I gotta go for the flush, right? Not keep the twos? I'm so confused here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, guys. I think I keep the twos here. Because a royal flush, there's no shot at a straight, right? A straight flush? I'm keeping the twos. Wait, a flush pays out only $25, a flush. And that's a one in four chance. Ah, you know what? I'm just keeping the twos, man. I don't care what anyone... Wait, hold on, guys. Yeah, you just go with it. Your instincts, right? I don't care. Let's go two pair and at this point I don't want to flush I'm going for the fours I don't care because the two of a kind pays you the same thing as one of a kind for this one you gotta go for the flush for sure for this one this is the last hand guys this is first let me see yeah you gotta go for the flush for this one and that's it guys we made a profit you know, out of, out of the extraction, our extraction point was, uh, I think, yeah, we got, we got, I'm gonna cash this one out. We'll go one last hand before uh, I walk this off. One last hand before you walk off. And uh, I should have walked off. Two, three, four, five. Man, I'm keeping the eight just for the hell of it. I'm, kill I, I'm keeping these two. No, I'll shut the hell up. I'm keeping the eight just for the hell of it. Okay, I got jacks are better there. So I'm gonna play until I don't get my, I lose money. Jacks are better. I'm gonna play until I lose money. Let's keep, keep the kings. Let's hold for a, jacks are better again. We gotta deal this again. Give me some nines. Remember the nines did it, Aaron Donald. Can you do it again for us, Aaron Donald? Shout out to, shout out to Aaron Donald. Do it again for us. Okay, there we go. We got something. We gotta continue with, until we lose. Three of a kind. We gotta keep all these, and let's hope for one more jack. Any jack offs out there? Comment below. Jack off. Oh, we do have a jack off. Tom Vu, Tom Vu, this is for you, jack off. Jack off. That's for you, jack off. Tom Vu, what's up, Tom Vu? Tom Vu. Tom Vu, this is for you, jack off. Hey, hey, hey. What up, Jack? So. So we we got another quad there, so we're gonna play a little bit longer. See how this is going. 
seven, two, seven, two. Uh, we gotta keep the. Uh, it's not an eight. I'm keeping the eight and three. Uh, I'm keeping the eight and nines. That's done. Let's just go to extract money. Oh, not extraction. Let's just keep even money. Is good. A couple more. Eight. I'm keeping that nine. All right. Just kidding. Well, at this point, yeah. Let's keep that nine, just for fun. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to be a little aggressive aggressive here. Just kind of test out the water here. Or do you go for the straight flush there? No, that's a little bit hoping too much. A couple more hands. Four, two, five. Keep the king. I see the nine there, but you know what? Let's do it again. Let's keep the nine. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep the nine. Okay. Ace. Ace two. Okay. Two more hands. Two more losing hands and that's it. One, two, three. Two more losing hands and that's it. Two more losing hands and that's it. All right. That's not a lost hand. We're still here. And uh, we're still here. We need any assholes here. Because when I called for the jackass, we got any assholes in the house. Let me know. We need two A's. Any Oakland A's baseball fans, let me know, guys. Comment below. So two A's. Am I keeping the right cards? Play for the quads first. We need two A's in here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so we haven't lost there. So right now, keep the two twos. Let all that go. And como All right, one more last time if we lose this one. That's it. One more last time if we lose this one. And there's two pairs. Sevens is lucky, so I'm going to just keep the sevens and keep it running. All right, guys, that's it. That is it. I guess you got to keep these. Okay, that's it. Cash out. No, 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 I guess everyone. Okay. No, I got, I got a, I got a Tito, Tito. Uh, I guess the video background is looking at me over there. We got to go over there, right? Play Triple Supreme next to Identity Vest, bro. Oh, I don't know what that is, Kombu. I guess that's the same, right? It's long. So there's a delay of like 10, 20 seconds. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so about video back ride it is then. So that, all I know is, is that on 27. Hey, what up, Mike? So, yeah, when I have, uh, when I utilize free play, I, I do the video poker route, extract the money there, then I can do whatever I want with this. Like, I could go play slots if I want, blackjack, whatever I want, I could go with this now. <clears throat> all right, let's go play some video back route.
Oh, I gotta pull my card out. What up, Mike Campbell? How are you? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I had some quads. Uh, positive. Got uh, extraction. That was the extraction right there. Hey, hey, hey. I had a quad. <laughs> I just stayed there. Now that I have a, I'm gonna go test this out, guys. No, no, my, I had a 420, $425. That wasn't from a thousand. There's no way this is good if I have a thousand. That was 425, 425 starting point. 425 starting point, so count. Yeah, video poker for me, I don't play the wild stuff like that one. The, the quads help me out. But generally, on average, I mean, my average video poker playing that, I extract about 90%, and over half the time, I make a profit of a little bit as well. Playing the conservative games. But I went for the wild card today because I said, let's go play a little uh, aggressive today. But let's give this a try. Is the music loud here, guys? How loud is the music? Yeah, I'm going to have to put on a... Uh Noise cancellation. I might put on noise cancellation. Oh, what time is it? Wait, how many hours is this? Oh, I, I gotta shut this out. Wait, hold up. What's, wait, 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 wait. What's the, how many hours am I going right now? Guys, I'm going to end this live stream right now. I'll be back. No one's really watching this anyways. I'll be back, guys. Thank you for watching. I might come back. Let me see what I do. I'll be right back. I'm going to restart it, guys, because I'm reaching the five-minute mark. The music is real loud in here. You know what? Let me do a test check before I do it. I'm going to do a test. Microphone, microphone. Now this is two. And uh, if you hear me right now, this is just regular transparency mode right now. Transparency mode. I'll put it on noise cancellation. Let me see how that sounds. Noise cancellation. Uh, how do I do it? I don't know. Three. Three, two, one. Now this is noise cancellation. This is a microphone check with noise cancellation. Which is better? Let me figure this out. Hey, hey, hey. Which one is better? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right.
Okay. <laughs>